Hello and welcome to the stream. Today we're going to be doing Crone Halbron Women Only Challenge. <laughs> As requested after unfortunately Cetra's defeat. Alright, so legendary, very hard battles, no endgame crisis, AI stats to the max. And as to what we're gonna do and where we're gonna expand. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to figure that one out. First we need to get out of the starting province and then we'll see what else we can do. Hey, just in time? Yes, you are. <laughs> just in time to see how we can make this function. <clears throat> Alright, so. I am pretty sure they are going to attack us no matter what. And we got to get rid of all of this. That makes me so sad. I actually kind of want to... Wanted to test out Harganeth Executioners with Dark Elves. Really didn't have uh, have a drive to play a longer campaign to get them. And I haven't play, played Crone Helbron until now. Alright, so... Sisters of Slaughter, I don't think we are gonna go for them early on. We're gonna have to go for Witch Elves. Alright, that's murder Murderous Prowess. Oh no, this is Murderous Mastery. Alright, alright. Oh boy, that's a small army. Uh, what can I tell you? But why does it say to have this? How does this even trigger? It says uses one. Do they have Witch Brew? Does Crone Halbron give Witch Elves Witch Brew? I mean, nowhere does it say they do that. Does she does that, or do they have this by default? It doesn't say what the condition is, so I'm guessing it's just active. Uh, you just activated, right? I don't know. Anyways, let's start building that. Yeah, there's no way I can win this if I just attack with Crone Halbron. We're gonna have to. It's default. No, they have that by default. Wow, I didn't know that. All right. So, we're gonna get a Supreme Sorceress. It's gonna have to be either Dark Magic or... Even Beasts would be fine. I would kind of prefer Dark Magic though, so I'm gonna get that. Income from Sacking Settlements is not... Uh, not terrible early on. Get just a little bit more of income going. Yeah, Lord of Fire is not what I want. Alright, get a Dark Sorceress. Throne Halbron, come over here. And... <laughs> Let's hope the Greenskins attack us. I kind of doubt it's going to happen. But I think they attack no matter what, right? So we should have a battle before the end of this turn. Alright, what do we go for? Control plus one is fine. Uh, casualties post battle, that's pretty good. Income from ports is kind of... Irrelevant. We could also go for more growth, so 25 growth. Income from post-battle loot is also pretty good. Right. Uh, oh, actually, there are harpies in the game, right. I could get harpies. They technically are women. Yes, you're playing Morassi, and they also have it. Damn, I didn't know they got that. I thought that was something... I, I honestly haven't played them in such a long time. I just thought it was something Crone Halbron gives. Damn. Did these guys get it? Nah, the Sisters of Slaughter don't get Witch Brew then. Huh. Whatever. Alright, let's go for... Four, 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 four. Let's go for post-battle loot first. And then we'll go for growth. And then we'll go for this so we can advance all the way down here. This is what we want. 
We're safe plus 5% for Witch Elves and Sisters of Slaughter. That's what we need. Uh, recruit ranks, fine. Is there anything else? Uh, harpies, yeah, that's fine. Also, Hydras. Alright. I think we just end the turn. Was the endgame crisis set for? Uh, I disable it. I don't like the endgame crisis. It's basically gonna be whichever faction is the strongest. Because this is not gonna be a fast campaign. This is probably gonna be very slow paced. Somebody's gonna grow extremely large and we might actually have a good fight on our hands. The same thing that happened uh, with Cetra where Zinch just exploded out of proportion. I'm hoping something like that happens here. We're probably going to be invading Ulf once, so probably Tyrion or Alariel. Yeah, they attack no matter what. And we actually ambushed. <laughs> Alright. Yep, I'll take that. Mm, get slaves. We need to rush construction. Slower than Cetra? I mean, slower because we're only going to be able to recruit one unit type, right? So we're only going to be getting uh, Witch Elves for a long time. And even though I think they are good, we're not going to be able to expand too quickly. So what I'm thinking is going to happen is we're going to get stuck fighting Valkyrie for a while. Because she does have a magic attack and I, I don't think Witch Elves can... Handle magic attack real easy. I don't think it's gonna be as slow as Cetra, but it's gonna be pretty slow. Pretty slow going. Alright, I'm thinking either money or gross. Gross, gross is not bad. And that's actually pretty bad. <laughs> Wait, it's only 5 base, and then if you give slaves, it's another 10. Uh, but this is much better, so the first one's bad and the second one's okay. Cost slaves, though. Whatever. Alright, and we gotta attack this. Wow, Ferric victory, but we lose... Uh, we lose the hero and the units. Yeah, that's not acceptable. Alright, and this one is gonna be the key to winning this battle. Alright, probably best to get... Uh, just melee stats for now. I mean, she does boost Witch Elves a bit. And this one, yeah, get melee stats as well. Fill my cauldron. Just so they can survive melee combat for longer. And this shouldn't be too difficult to win. I don't think the Greenskins will put up too much of a fight, but when we meet Valkyrie and Sigvald, that is when things are going to look dicey. Because we're literally sandwiched between them. I mean, not yet. Valkyrie still hasn't killed the other faction, what's it called? Gorond, what? I think. And Sigvald still hasn't even come close to... To the green skins, but they're gonna be here eventually, and they're gonna try and comp completely annihilate us. Is this a challenge campaign? Yeah, so we can bas basically recruit nothing but uh, female units. <laughs> I don't even know what percentage of the roster that actually is. Alright, we're gonna wait for the Sorceress, because she is the one that's gonna win this for us. Hello, Mr. Cultist. Hello, how are you doing? How good these uh, these ones are. I mean, looking at them, they do have poison, which can help them in melee. A really good amount of melee defense. 
Yeah, decent amount of weapon strength. Pretty good melee attack as well. Maybe I should get them later on, instead of Witch Elves. Oh. I'll see. <laughs> Why did I decide to go bald? I don't know, you have to ask my... Uh... Uh... <laughs> oh, man. I have to ask my DNA. You'll give the wars to this woman? <laughs> Supreme sorceress, massacre, seeking entertainment. All right, we're just gonna chill with them to death, and we'll move these guys or these ladies <laughs> outside of hiding as soon as we're close to victory. Because I don't want them to take too much damage. It's fine if the hero and lord take damage, but if the units take damage, that is a bit concerning. Right, kill that unit. Maybe I should pull her out of combat. Ron Halbrown is dealing with that just fine. I wonder why they don't get uh, movement speed when triggering murderous prowess. Alright, go for this. Stop them from shooting. It actually took a bit more damage than I wanted to, but this is fine. They're gonna replenish to full. How's my crone so tanky? Uh, I mean, she's a pretty good melee combatant, so... You can leave her in melee for a really long time. Also started her melee line. Probably gonna continue it as well. No point in getting red line because we're not gonna have all that many units. I should also turn on the light. Already dark. I mean, Kron Halbron is uh, not a spellcaster, so... He is decently strong in melee. The thing I don't like about the... Uh, uh, I don't like the Death Hags. I think that the Death Hags are pretty bad. Definitely loot and occupy. Want all those slaves. Alright, and she is gonna actually launch the attack on this, so we can sack it and then... Uh, it's a really bad sack value, actually. Alright, I want to kill the Rebellion as well, so maybe... We're not gonna loot and occupy this element. I'll still see. Alright, chill wind. And let's get another lord. Let's get a dread lord. So, what do we have? Cunning, strong. Yeah, strong's pretty good. I'll probably get strong. Yeah, I really want a spiteful one. A spiteful dread lord. That would be really good. I don't want to waste money this early on into the campaign, so we might do that just later on. Alright, get the strong one. Noble of and Crone Halbron, start recruiting some Witch Elves. Anyway, I can increase my local recruit capacity though. Alright, get replenishment just in case. I can rush this, probably not a good idea. You assume I'm not gonna put her on a mount? Why wouldn't I? Hi, hello, Mr. Dasser. How are you doing? Alright, so how do I increase our local recruit capacity? Is it only this building? Yeah, it's only this building. Ah, oh, that sucks. So only at tier 4 can we increase our local recruit capacity. The... It really does suck not being able to get black arcs, but whatever. Whatever. Been helping out a friend with his driver's license. That's nice. You saw it when you put him on a mount. 
it increases their hitbox and makes them less tanky. Uh, I'm not gonna put her on the uh, Blood Shrine or whatever it's called. I'm gonna put her on a Manticore. Manticore is really good. Because uh, it can fly around and just disrupt a lot of stuff. Yeah, I don't like them on a mount. On the Blood Cauldron. Cauldron of Blood, whatever. I don't like this exactly because of what you said. Like, I would rather put them on a horse or something else aside from this. Oh, but this actually has missile attacks now. That's new. Wait, now I want to see what uh, how good they are. They didn't used to have missile attacks. Damn, I haven't played Dark Elves in such a long time. Okay. Alright, the question now is do we sack this or do we just Murder. occupy? Uh, for some reason, Chrome Hellbron actually has the same sack value as this uh, this one. Doesn't tell me that she does anywhere though. Yeah, campaign effects only upkeep. So why does she get like this one has the uh, cruel traits? Incre income from sacking settlements plus twenty percent. Grown Halbron doesn't, so why does she have the same sack value as this one? What is your dark purpose? I mean, eight income less, but still. That is a bit weird, not gonna lie. Alright, I'll attack with her, because we need to buff her loyalty a bit. And we'll just reinforce with the other ones. Cauldron's alright. <laughs> Visual bug? I don't think so. Ah, oh, okay. So it's different for this element. Cruel Dreadlord. Wait, that's just weird. The 1,922 for the Dreadlord, who is just aggressive. And 1,960 for this. How much for... I'm first have to first gonna have to fight this, and then I'll Never check. But that is actually pretty weird, not gonna lie. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna have to... Yeah, I should not resolve this. I need to not take casualties. I'm gonna have to try to double back and kill the rebellion that's gonna spawn soon. Girl power. <laughs> Alright, nothing to do but wait for our reinforcements. Imagine if they actually grew a brain and rushed my lord right at the start. <laughs> yeah, I don't think girl power would help us there. I also need to level these guys up. Mm, these ladies up. So we can give them the martial name of power. The I think it's Life Leech. Not sure. Give them the ward save for Sisters of Slaughter and Witch Elves passive. Play Queen the Stream. Hmm. That's actually a better title than what I wrote, not gonna lie. <laughs> oh well. Alright, this one is. Just gonna hide and cast spells, and these guys, or these ladies, are just gonna tank up the enemy. Do they get more Dreadlords, or do they get more Supreme Sorceresses? That's the question. Because Sorceresses will deal more damage, Dreadlords are gonna tank a lot more. And they both get the same mounts. I don't know what uh, what ability Dreadlords have. Supreme Sorceresses? I think it's just the basic stuff, right? Metal Defense. I also forgot we can do this. Don't think that helps at all. Alright, might as well charge with these guys. These ladies. Keep forgetting that. Alright, help this one out. This one's taking too much damage.
Yeah, you don't fight anymore. Alright, hopefully that gives us another loyalty with her. I don't want her to rebel too early for that. Also, they, I don't think they mentioned this, or maybe they did and I just didn't read it, but you can't uh, respect lords anymore if they are low loyalty. Like, did I mention that in one of the hotfixes and I just didn't read it, or is that something new? Alright, I would like to loot and occupy. Actually, sacking is not a bad idea. Just because of the amount of slaves we get. We're gonna need slaves, so... All right, just sack. Leave no stone unturned. All right, what did we unlock? Yep, right of Cain. Uh, sacrifice for Cain. This is what I want. Supreme. Uh, we didn't get a loyalty reward. Oh well. So just occupy this Dark now, sorceress. and we get the, which is really. Wait, we're getting the same amount of growth when damaged and when 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 not damaged. Interesting game design. Master of cruelty. All right, come over Move here. It. You come I over here. So this is gonna rebel in three turns. We'll make it two by loot and occupying this element next turn, and then we're just gonna rush back with Crone Halbron. You killed the rebellion. So what do we do here? Do I try and occupy this, or do I wait for a while and go kill Valkia? That's the question. Die. Do you even make friends with them, or do I not? That's Mistress another question. Definitely Die. can't make friends Magic. with Valkia. We need to kill Valkia. That's for sure. Powerful. Magic. Also, let's make deals with yes, Malachis. Let's go to war with these guys. Or the most miserable amount of income we can get. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, put in points and we can just end the turn. Alright, and you... Yeah, that's fine. Unrestrained. Alright, so what does she get? She gets strength through spite, which is passive. Oh. I thought it was an active ability. Alright, what does she get then? The same thing. Wait, who gets the thing volley? Uh, the volley thing that increases our missile strength. Is it these guys? It's probably these guys. Yeah, you can actually see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they get that. And the sorceresses and the D dreadlords get the exact same thing. Got it. What do these guys get? Yeah, they get the basic stuff. Alright. Alright, understood. Alright. You prefer casters when they get the same good mount that melee specialists get. Yeah, and they can also heal by default if you get uh, dark magic. They do have the... Well, I forgot what it's called. Uh, the AoE thing that uh, does damage and heals at the same time. That's pretty good. I'm just thinking Dreadlords, because sometimes you do need the melee combatant. We're not gonna be able to get any assassins, and witch elves are not great. Soul Stealer? Yeah, that's the one. Alright, 2376. 1802. Yeah, that makes sense now. So I have no clue. I have... Oh, but this one says 2055. Yeah, I'm just confused. I am literally confusion. I'm just gonna sack this, I think. Nah, this is a minor city siege. Great. Doesn't matter. It should be fine. Ish. Same sort of deal with, as before. 
Also, one thing I forgot. Does uh, May their death be slow. Does Morathi get regeneration by default? Because Halbron uh, has regeneration in her unique skill tree. Yeah, definitely not are resolving that. So, I kind of forgot. I know Morassi gets it, I just don't know where. Does she get it from her skill tree, an item, or by default? Which one of those three? Remember last time you played Dark Hells outside the Black Ark guy? <laughs> yeah, I don't remember the last time I played Dark Hells aside from Rakars. For some reason, I find Rakars to be the most enjoyable Dark Elf play. I don't know why. Maybe it's just his unique mechanic of getting beasts. From fighting battles, I really like that. Now, look, it is fine with the amount of black arcs you can get, but for some reason, I just don't like that. They're actually shooting her. Okay. Would really like it if they blobbed up a bit more. Is the most fun one? Of the Dark Elf factions right now. Lokir or Rakars? I'm guessing uh, Black Ark guy. So Lokir. <laughs> you guess playing Pokemon is also fun? Yeah, I like that. I like that campaign mechanic a lot. Alright, so this tower is going to be a pain in the ass. Let's come over here. Alright, she's on a horse. She also has a uh, ruby ring of ruin. Okay. <laughs> okay, I like that. I like how it started going here and then immediately uh, turned this way. That's actually pretty interesting. I haven't seen that before now. Yeah, I didn't do it that time. Alright, if I could kill the archers with blade storm, that'd be nice. Alright, just uh, group these two because they're not fast. Crone Halbron is. Yeah, I did it that time. Alright, that's pretty funny, not gonna lie. Alright, you guys come over here, bash this down. I need to. I need to kill their range units first. Because we can kill them in melee for sure. We just need to get rid of their range. Yeah, Bladestorm is not bad. Bladestorm is pretty good. Alright, go for damn their orc. Air boys. Hmm. Alright, can you do this here? Yeah. Go. Cool. Uh, help the sorceress. Damn it. Green skins are not falling for our lady charms. Alright, probably best to cast them this unit. Alright, come over here. Yep, they are routed, that's good. about it. If I didn't disband my entire army, we'd probably just be aura resolving everything, wouldn't we? Because this is pretty easy, not gonna lie. 
Much easier than I thought. A campaign where I deny myself 90% of my starting units is gonna be... Damn it. Could slow down, but... This is fine. Alright, no more magic. After this. So, now we just kill him the old-fashioned way. Also sent to, to help here. This one's getting wrecked. Alright, I need to isolate these guys. There we go. You sing dwarves with fireballs, it's hilarious. Also book worthy. <laughs> yeah, I'm still very much uh I don't know, what's the word? Grudging because of the rune of light. You know, where they throw an axe and it's just uh it just either goes too too far up or it just hits the ground. I don't know why it's like that. I don't know if you ever used it, right? But if you use it in the middle of a unit, it can do a lot of damage. But if you use it like... Um, if there's just a, the tiniest little bump in front of you, it just goes sky high. And completely becomes worthless. Alright, definitely sack this. It's gonna be tier 1 anyways, so... No give me the money. Noble Occupied Noble. with the Dreadlord. Why is this one refusing to accept my Come love <laughs> and get any loyalty? This this one is just unloyal. Alright, I'm gonna probably recruit units with her. Alright, I don't actually think Crone Halbron can kill the Rebellion in one turn. Maybe she can. Maybe she can. Ah, hear their yeah, she can't kill the Rebellion in one turn. Definitely not. So, don't even bother force marching. Just get two more units with you, so they're cheaper. And you... Yeah, just make you a better melee combatant. Alright, this one that does not want to become loyal. Let's get that. Spiteful Conjuration. It's actually not terrible. Hold on. Minus 15 armor. Map wide. And these ones don't even have that much armor piercing. Yeah, it's basically a quarter of their damage is armor piercing. So that minus armor is not even bad. Alright. Alright, that's interesting. I'll get that. I usually don't get it because shades... Not, not even shades, just dark sh shards in general. But yeah, that might not be bad f in this situation. Alright, more replenishment. And I think we are done. Definitely don't build anything. What do we get here? Instruction cost. Uh, okay. Armies in province. Okay, that's not terrible. That could be useful. Yeah, there's nothing for... Increasing our local recruit capacity. So, everything is fine. Everything's fine. Besides the fact that we can't increase our local recruit capacity. We do have Draftmaster, though. Alright, so we can just a little bit. Damn it, that's not, that's not really good. Yeah, this is probably going to be slower than I thought. I knew it was going to be slow. Definitely going to be slower. Oh, I didn't... Alright... Uh, too late now. Alright, just give me the growth. And... Do I get this? It's gonna pay itself off in three turns. It's just gonna use up slaves. Which I can afford, honestly. Alright, use that. Get more growth. And end the turn. Don't know why Dark Elves have so much armor piercing. Yeah, I don't know either. It's a bit weird. 
I would have thought they would make their crossbows, like, uh, fire more, but deal less damage sort of stuff. Not just fire and instantly kill something. Don't know. Yep, definitely get loyalty, because she is proving to be extremely disloyal. I think that's how you say it. Alright, get this off of her. Just to make sure we get a rebellion. Alright, now we can kill the rebellion in one turn. Over here, and you come over here. Get more witch elves. And we're gonna go here. I don't think it's a good idea to kill Sigvold. Just right now. But it is an option. It is an option. And we're, we're gonna have to use uh, Death Knight rather soon. Alright, we're getting more post-battle loot. Now get this. Need more growth. I really don't want this, but we need to get here as fast as possible. I need that. Checking diplomacy, but there is probably nothing. <laughs> Alright. Karen Carr. Maybe we can get a... Maybe we can get a confederation with them. Because they're probably going to be really weak. I don't want to get non-aggression with them. Speak, bringer of glory. Because Valkia. We'll see. Same same sort of stuff with this. I don't want to get non-aggression with them. Alright, let's end the turn. They really want to dig into my flesh and flay me with their whips. Mm. Do we farm girl boy signal? That's actually not uh, a bad idea. I just want to maybe do it if he gets a minor settlement. Hopefully not at his black fortress site, because that would be a bit uh, a bit disastrous. Not gonna lie. You want to go super sweaty? What's the point of recruiting witch elves? Sisters of Slaughter are just better. Uh, yeah, but we don't... We can't recruit them yet. So, for now, we can only recruit witch elves. We're gonna need to get a... Settlement building to tier 3. And then get the barracks built up. Which I don't want to do in our main settlement. This is gonna go up to... Year 5, and we're just gonna probably get either slave pens. Actually, what's the point of getting slave pens? Yeah, this actually kinda has no point <laughs> because we're not gonna be recruiting black arcs. Err. Uh, yeah, I forgot about that. Wait, what do I build? I guess this is not a bad idea. So, we're gonna get this, and we are. Yeah, that's it, pretty much. Hit tier 3 with this. Get more sorceresses going. Also get more death hags. Same, I can't get any assassins. It's fine, it's fine. And then as soon as we get a minor settlement to tier 3, that, that's when I'm gonna get Sisters of Slaughter. Right, who attacks this guy? Ridiculous. Really? Okay. Powerful enchantress. Moving on. Definitely wish I had some flying Dread units now. Alright. Let's see how bad it is. Uh, close victory. Oh, imagine if I get this. Wait, if I get this, do I just automatically lose? <laughs> do I just automatically lose if I get this unit? That, that actually would be pretty funny. <laughs> Alright, uh, this should be fine. Hmm. Er, not really. This this is gonna be a bit difficult. At least they're winded. Er. It's not recruiting. I mean, I guess. <laughs> but still. <laughs> Do we just say that uh, it's our... Women that occupied it, so technically they're just crewed by witch elves. <laughs> do we do it like that? 
technically, it's the witch elves that are uh, manning it, so... Hey! <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Do I just rename it? Being crewed by witch elves? It's fine for this campaign. <laughs> All right, we gotta wait for the other ladies to come in. You mean woo-manning it? Yeah, that's exact exactly what I mean. Uh, that'd be pretty funny. If I get it, I'm keeping it. <laughs> uh, I just need a good name for it. <laughs> oh man. Alright, you're not fast, right? But yeah, you're not fast either. Alright, I really need them to be either flying on Pegasus, Dark Pegasus, or just on a... Um, a regular mount. Alright, she needs to go in and occupy the Eagle Claw Ball Thrower. And just nuke this unit with fireballs. Fireballs. Giggity. Not that this means much. Finally, real feminism. Stab, stab time. I guess so. Wait, where did the fireball disappear? Hey, the game's cheating. My fireball disappeared. It will be. Right, I'm really afraid of her Telebrun. getting caught by the cold ones. Because they're gonna shred her to pieces. If they catch Crone Halbron, it's kind of fine. Not terrible. But catching her? Yeah, she's dead in two seconds. So we gotta be careful about that. All right, we trigger them. They're coming. They're coming. I need to stop. I didn't put a Slanesh sign for a reason, but I need to stop. Too much Slanesh right now. Yeah, she's dying even to Harpies. I need to be careful with her. Right, I think I should just charge in with the rest of the army. See how it goes. Yeah, no, she's really dying. She really needs to get out of there. Come on. Come on. Right, go for this thing quickly. At least they're firing single shots. That's not gonna cause terrible damage. Never mind. That actually is very scary. Right, you stop them from moving. I don't want these guys to be in mellow with them, but I'll put them there if it needs to. Alright, how about this? How about you go here and you guys attack this? That should be fine. Alright, she's not having a good time. Come on, I need a blade wind right here. Or er, Yeah, blade wind. It's not called blade storm. Why do I think it was called blade storm? Alright, this thing is dying real fast. That's good. Kill this. Kill the enemy witch elves. Alright, how about you use that? Yeah, why not? Elbron really needs some regen. Alright, you go for him. Um, is who's boss. That's dead. That's good. Use that. And we are probably done, I think. Yep. They run this guy down. Wait, what's the what's the condition for? Not too late. It's dead. Who cares? All right, run this guy down. Probably. I shouldn't run down the entire army though. Yeah, there's the. They are dead. This is dead. 
I need to kill the Lord to get the most amount of experience and everything like that, so just kill him. You really said, come to me. <laughs> she gets region at the end of her unique line. Yes, she does. I checked. I was just curious about Smorathi. Where does she get her regen? Is it like an item by default? Or does she also have a unique line where she gets it? Morassi gets region from a unique item. Okay. Hmm. For some reason I thought it was by default. Don't know why. This talisman? I don't know. Oh, I killed the entire army. Damn. Oh well. Now, I don't remember how many slaves I need to... ...to... ...get money. But I don't think this is as good as this, so I'm just gonna get this. And I'm gonna need the slaves. Definitely. Because Death Knight is not forgiving. Alright, so come over here. Over... ...here, and you can come over here. You should be able to attack, right? Yeah, perfect. So we're gonna attack this. Maybe I should... No, I shouldn't sell it. Alright, so if we are gonna endlessly sack Sigvold, it should be in the minor settlement. And I need to get rid of these orcs. And then just come back down here. To kill Valkia. I'm saving this up so that... Uh, we're gonna have an easier time killing Valkia. Then by default, and we need to get more Witch Elves. Item from skill tree. Remember, Harpies are women, not that we're going to recruit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, Harpies and War Hydras are women, right? They're technically female. Wink, wink. <laughs> I mean, Hydra lay eggs, right? So, technically, you could say they're women. Alright, what do I get here? Do I just get the growth? It's uh, 5 turns duration, so that is what? 250 growths. Or 300 slaves. I think that's a good bargain. Yeah, so 400 slaves equals 1,500 treasury. I should remember that number. So that if we get... Uh, if we can ransom the captives for 750 and get less than 200 slaves, that's when we should get ransom instead of slaves. Got it. Alright, get the bonus growth. Uh, it's, it doesn't help much, but, you know. Every little bit counts. I guess. Alright, don't build anything up. We need to get uh, tier 2 fast. So we can get a sorceress and more death uh, death hags, yeah. They're called death hags. Diplomacy Desire? and just end Bring the turn. Speak. Dark deeds. We would really like to confederate her. Alright, end the turn. Don't forget Medusas. Yeah, I'm... Mm. I guess I could get Medusas on the War Shrine. Or whatever it's called. I guess that could be interesting. But regular Medusas, like... Uh, I don't think they're bad units, I just... I kind of don't really feel the need to recruit them. I actually don't even know what Medusas on those Shrines do. Do they have an... AoE... Oh, what the... What is that army? Why do they have a Doom Diver catapult? They also have Black Orcs. Hmm.
and the infantry. Hmm. We got an Arachnorok, are you kidding me? How do how am I supposed to kill that thing? Shit, the, the Squeak Squad is uh Told ya? I didn't I didn't think they would have uh, <laughs> a full stack ready with dangerous units. I, I thought you meant orcs in general. Fuck. Alright, how bad is this actually? Can I win? The black orcs are definitely gonna be a problem. How much armor do you? Yeah, 110 armor. Alright, so the black orcs and the squigs are a problem. If we have a forest we can fight in, that does help us out. We don't have any region and she is not full health. I should have actually paid more attention to the previous battle then. It can I win this? What's her resistance is like? 25 and 5, so that's 30% resistance is to this bastard. But she's first gonna have to go around and take out the Doom Diver catapult, I think. So that leaves her and the Death Hag to deal with the Arachnorok. And it's questionable if it, they can do it. The Squigs, I should be fine. Mostly, if I just uh, cast Chill Wind and Blade Blade Wind to kill them. Right? How? What does this give me exactly? So it does increase our weapon strength and mel attack. Do I just be stupid and try it? I'm just gonna be stupid and try it. Pretty tough army? Yeah. His name is Sporticus. <laughs> nice. Arachnorok's not a big deal. Two black orcs and squigs are a problem. Arachnorok is kind of a problem because we have no range units to kill it. But yeah, definitely the squigs and the orcs are the biggest threat. I'm thinking we just hide in the flo hide in the forest. And lower their combat stats. The... Alright, 2 minutes and 18 seconds should be fine. Should be fine. Alright, I'll just hide her right at the start. They're gonna charge their fast units to search for her. Yep, they're starting to charge. They're going all <laughs> all over the map. So I'm really gonna need to sneak Chrome Halbron behind everything and go for the Doom Diver Catapult. And then she needs to come back and try to deal with the Arachnorok and the Black Orcs. Alright, you need to hold on until our reinforcements come. You need to hold on for 30 more seconds. Come on, you can do it. No, she got knocked. Alright, if she's getting knocked down, she's not taking damage. So it's kind of not even terrible. Keep getting knocked down, please. I think we're just gonna lose. No, come on, come on. 15 more seconds, you can... No! Well, I mean, it's not a no defeats campaign, but still. Why didn't I lose? Well, we're not losing now. We just need to keep her alive. She needs to come back. Alright, everybody in the forest. Brown Halbron, you need to go around. Please come back, okay? We need you to cast Blade, uh, Blade Wind. Yeah, that's what it's called. Uh, it's better for her to run away than to die. So, if she comes back here and immediately gets besieged by Squigs, I would much rather she just runs away. Alright, come over here. Alright, who did I... 
You and you. Okay, go for this. Everybody else. Just come back over here. Where's the death hag? Over here. Alright, uh, shit. Alright, you need to be careful now. You need to be very careful now. Alright, uh, you guys charge into this. Come on. Okay, that's good. It's going okay. Alright, go for the Doom Divers. They're actually not even moving, huh? I don't like that, that's a bad trade, but we just need to do it. Where are you? Come come over here, come on. Probably shouldn't have been stupid and done this, but you know. Sometimes you just gotta be stupid. <laughs> Alright, did, did you dismount them? No, you did not. The archers shouldn't be too scary. Alright, you and you are Ragnarok now. Alright, it's going down, that's good. Keep killing that. Soon we're gonna have to ca uh, cast those blade winds. Alright, that's a good target. Alright, you need to get out of there now. Uh, this thing still is alive. You should be able to get out of there. Yep, that's fine. Oh, they they want to run away. All right, all right. I shouldn't cast this yet. All right, go for the nasty skulkers. You hide in the middle of our army. Where is this one? Yep, yeah, you killed that. That's good. All right, blade win right there. You guys kill the Ragnarok. You... Alright, come back here. Because this thing is... Nah, it's not bugged. You need to go back and kill it. Alright, all of you cast this. Let's see how much damage you can get through that. Alright, and keep casting Chill Wind. How much magic do we have left? Enough for a few more Blade Winds. Alright, come over here. We're gonna need you. Where's Grown Helbron? Could actually maybe cast uh, fire fireball. Oh, actually, the Arachnor is going down. Okay, that's actually easier than I thought. Probably better to do Chill Wind here. Easier target. Alright, everybody, go for the Black Orcs. They are the main enemy now. Right, keep going for this thing. Where are you? Yeah, you keep being there and try to... Damn it, this thing's gonna run away. This thing's completely bugged. Alright, forget about that. Come over here and run down the Arachnarok. That's what I need you to do. Alright, the Black Orcs are going down. Go for the Black Orcs. You, you two should be fine dealing with it. Wait for that. Actually, wait for casting anything, really. Could do this. Good. Alright, go for the Ragnarok. First this. Come on. This is gonna hit. This is gonna miss. It actually hit and did next to no damage. It's fine. It's fine. Alright, the forest blob is actually working. Nice. It's actually working much better than I thought. And army loss is beautiful. Alright, kill the lord. Because uh, that's how we get most most of the battle loot. And kill everything that's gonna be... Mm, kill it. Shit. No, he's gonna wait. Whatever, at least we won the battle. AI waits for my reinforcements. Really? I didn't know that. I thought it instantly loses the battle. Really? It always waits for your reinforcements? 
Huh. Greetings? Greetings. How are you doing? The power of dark elf women. Potent narcotics distilled from blood. It wasn't that bad? Yeah, I w I'm actually surprised how well this performed, not gonna lie. I mean, they do have almost 30% uh, physical resistance, so there is that. But I'm actually surprised they managed to kill Black Orcs with relative ease. Especially the Arachnorok. I mean, the Arachnorok definitely did the most damage. That's the thing I was most afraid of. But even the Black Orcs didn't... Didn't fare all that well. How did you deal 5,000 damage, though? Maybe he did damage to the lords. Lord over here. Maybe. Yeah, this is pretty much neck, neck and neck in terms of value. I guess the money is a bit more cost efficient. Let's get money. You are utterly without you. It's a real damn shame we didn't kill the lord. So, we didn't get as much... Income as we could have, but you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Capture and occupy the following settlement. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna set sail right now. What's my uh, short campaign? Ooh, glittering scales. Now that's pretty good. That's my short campaign victory objective. So, destroy the following faction? Is, does it count if I confederate them? Are they technically destroyed? Alright, I need to have ancient city of Quintax. And long campaign victory is get Shrine of Cain and destroy... Really, order of lore masters. I mean, they're gonna die on their own, but... Really? Also, Emmerich. Damn it. Those are some... Supreme rather bad... Dropped. Victory conditions, not gonna lie. Alright, what do you need? I need... This, this, and get Soul Stealer. Mistress of Alright, what is... This is a passive ability. So it's only for her. Eh. Okay, whatever. You get that, and you, you're you on a... Actually, I think you would be better off being on foot. I should probably take this off of you. I don't know why you have it. Also, give glittering scale... Uh, do I? Yeah, I do. Give glittering scales to Crone Halbron. He's gonna make better use of it. Even the Death Hag. I'll see. Alright. This is tier 2. Yeah, perfect. So this is tier 3. That's gonna need a bit more consideration how we take it out. I want them dead. Okay. What does he have? Squigs? A lot of squigs. Damn squigs. Alright, so no recruiting for a bit, which is a bit of a shame, but not much we can do. You think so? Yes, because the faction ceases to exist. Good. They don't actually have to kill her. I can get to a confederation. If she wants to. Worst thing about Halbrons transitioning from Warhammer 2 to Warhammer 3 is that they, for some reason, got rid of her unique mission to prevent the blood meter from going down to a certain level. Wait, you can you can no longer do that? Didn't you just have to get the ancient city of Quintax and Shrine of Cain? Do you prevent it from going down? You're kidding me. So we can no longer prevent that. That that actually sucks so much. Oh man. That actually sucks so much. Alright, you're fast, so you should be fine. I really didn't know that the AI waits for your reinforcements. I thought they... I thought they just... 
instantly end the battle as soon as you lose all your units. Which is really weird that they don't. <laughs> these guys these guys rampaged. Alright, alright. Calm down. Calm down, Squigs. Calm down. Wiggly beasts. As if Dark Elves weren't mid enough. I don't think they're too bad. I think they're pretty fine. I mean, they went from being one of the strongest races in Warhammer 2 to being like bottom... Bottom... Uh, strong races, right? So it's not... It's not terrible. It could have been worse. It'd have been a lot worse. Yes, that's how it worked in Warhammer 2. It's not in Warhammer 3 for some reason. It's dumb. Right. I was actually... Uh... Great. So... I guess we're just never gonna stop using... Does the amount of slaves we have to use then somehow level out? Like, does it stop after a certain point, or does it just keep increasing infinitely? That's my question. Because every time you use it, it goes up, right? The cost. So, did, did they just make it so that the cost never go, uh, never ceases to go up? Uh, did they just make it so that at a certain point in your campaign, you're just not gonna be able to pay for... Death Knight? You don't think it stops, so there may come a point where you will literally not be able to afford that. Yes. Wow. Now that right there is amazing game design. Oh boy. That is awful, not gonna lie. So basically any campaign that involves Crone Halbron Lasting beyond turn 100 is just not really feasible. Got it. Right, we need to use some of our fireballs. You get it. Do I go for the hide in woods strategy again? I think I do. It's such a good strategy. Why wouldn't I use it? And where is this guy? Uh, this lady. Femfatal. What does Femfatal mean again? I know it's the uh, pretty but dangerous lady, something along those lines, right? Game of the year. That really needs to be the channel motto. At this point, you don't think there's gonna be a part 3 if the cost keeps going up. It depends on how... Like I, like I said, uh, this is gonna be a really slow campaign. Because we're just not gonna be able to recruit units. So... We could go to, like, turn 100 and still be on turn 30. On, uh, not turn 100. We could uh, do three live streams and still be on turn 30. I don't know why I thought turn 100. That's just weird. Alright, where do I cast this? Actually, uh, no, 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 don't cast that. Alright, get out of here. Uh, get in the blob. Fuck. I'm not thinking. She, she is literally one hit away from dying, so... Why am I still keeping her here? That's the question. Alright, just cast Bladewind. Uh, Chillwind. Bladewind might actually kill some of our units. Right, we need to divide a bit. This is too big of a blob. 
You need to go for him, and you need to go for him, and you can just stay there. Honestly. Alright, let's cast a Blade Win and hope it doesn't kill our women. Femme Fatale is like a mani manipulative evil woman that hides her true nature until it's too late or something like that. Oh. I thought it was like, uh, I don't know. Well, actually, that, uh, that does kind of fall in line with what I thought it was. It's just kind of disappointing when you explain it like that for some reason. Not sure why. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Just get more chill ones here. Oh wow, they actually beat him to a pulp real fast. Nice. Unknowingly, you really are a cultist of Zinch, like most followers of Zinch, actually. I don't know, I think I'm a pretty go good corn follower. Maybe manipulated by Zinch, but you know. Who isn't, really? Nobody knows the great plan. Right, I think they're actually trying to hit her. Which is no no. They need to die. Alright, so you three just keep killing Yeah, that there you go. Good. More here. Sounds French, with which means you don't respect the term. Hmm. Fair enough. How about you come over here? Ooh, what's happening here? Uh, yeah, cast this, just kill stuff faster. Get out of that bad situation. You come help, you go for this. You get out of here. She is literally one hit away from dying and I'm keeping her in the middle of a blob. Yeah, couldn't, couldn't be doing worse. Worse stuff with her. Alright, you're fairly damaged. You... Is that the army losses? Yeah, cool. We don't have to run this guy down now. He is dead, but I should... I should actually run the goblin down. Oh, they're actually killing... Uh, routing infantry fairly quickly. That's just, uh, That's a bit surprising. I chose to shoot a fireball and at him. Oh, it hit. Nice. All right, come over here. Help them out. And just let his... the Actually, the goblin's army is in force march. Am I doing this for nothing? It's in force march, right? I'm not... I'm doing this for nothing, aren't I? Damn it. Oh well. Let's see if I did it for nothing. Hope I didn't. Ooh! 4,000! Yeah, killing the... Yeah, I did it for nothing. Maybe we actually killed these guys and that's why. Uh doesn't matter. Also, I really hate the fact that the cap for post-battle loot slaves is 500. Like, what's the deal with that? Mm. This. Still haven't done Nobbler only. You'll be waiting. I think you'll be waiting, waiting for a long time. Supreme Sorceress of like, this, this is a campaign I... Thought I would enjoy, and not gonna lie, it's not bad at all. I like it. But Noblars only, I hate 
ogres as is. Making me play nobblers only, I'd probably just hate the ever-living shit out of it. So, I don't think that's happening. At least not anytime soon. Maybe, maybe if they fix up ogres, and I actually like playing ogres, I would do it. But as is, nah. Alright, I really need the... Oh, it's not the mar- the martial one is for... For the Lord. So I need the re weird name of power. At rank 12, uh, at rank 10. And what we do is just get her to rank 10. If we don't get life quencher, I think that's what it's called, actually. If we don't get life quencher, we just respec her and try again. Until we do. Do I have a life quencher saved up, though? I got a Marks one. Shadow Dart, Shadow Dart. Why did I name her? Oh, right, because they get Shadow Dart. I actually don't have any Life Quenchers. Okay. Okay. Am I missing something? I don't think I am. So I should be fine just ending the turn here. Also, what's your guy guy's opinion on are we ever gonna get a ogre rework or not i really hope we do just stopping by to say boss okay who seeks the mistress of Harganeth? i shouldn't do this i shouldn't I mean, she is gonna die soon anyways, so I could just take money off of her. Yeah, why not? She's gonna die, I'm I'm pretty sure. Not oh, say hi? Sorry, I didn't see that. How are you doing? Hopefully, ogres are a very fun idea to you fun idea yes fun race to play no I think there's going to be an ogre rework and norska rework ooh ooh how opportune well i might have been crazy to fight the the Greenskin army, but I'm definitely not crazy enough to fight Belakor. Stay in the shadows. What is Belakor doing here? And how much do you hate me? No need to summon me where shadows yeah, he's gonna declare war on me. Fuck. Oh boy. Agreed. I'm not ranked 10. If I was fighting battles with Kerr, I would have been ranked 10. And I could have gotten uh, two regiments of renown. So the harpies and actually no, one regiment of renown. The harpies. These are rank twenty. What? Oh boy. Unseen and deadly. Okay, this is. Um, I might have to just pop this down. Yeah, I think I need to pop this down because Belikor is gonna declare war on me. I was I wanted to wait for that for a while longer. To have it as long as possible, but I need to pop it down. And I think he's gonna help me. Alright, we'll see what Belakor does over the end turn. It's not gonna be pretty. Malevolent Lord. It, you're dead, so just give me money. I do not fail. You dead. Alright, end the turn. Streams all glitchy, really? In what way? Is it uh, lagging or? I mean, sometimes it's uh, YouTube's fault, but sometimes it probably is my fault. I I really don't know. Like uh, OBS doesn't say that anything's wrong. What is he doing over here? I don't know. He he either goes to... He either goes... I know what he's doing. I know what he's doing. I have a mind to slaughter you. 
No. Ooh, that's a lot of money, though. No. And, eh, uh, okay, that's not terrible. I'm still in friendly territory as well, so I'm gonna uh, replenish. Death it's fine. Or resolving it. Friendly territory. I'm in my territory. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Hold on. Hold on. I'm sinking. I'm sinking. I'm thinking just how bad of an idea. Treasury 10,000. Fall for a feast. Fuck that. I can't have her wounded. We're not gonna get a replacement lord. So this is off the table. Punish everyone is also kind of a bad idea. But 10,000. Oof. Yeah, fuck this. How greedy do I want to be? <laughs> the answer? Extremely greedy. Potion of strength. Crimson death. Give that to Crone Halbron. Because I'm feeling stupid. I'm feeling stupider than usual. I'm feeling really stupid. Extremely stupid, I guess you could say. How opportune. Insanely stupid. A cold wind rises. Shit. This is a problem. We can probably kill it with blades, uh, Blade Wind. Iden Forest, the rest is fine. Even the Hell Cannon. And Bellicor himself is gonna be a problem. Maybe even... Yeah, he is gonna be a problem because he himself is uh, really strong. And it's gonna be blocking 20% of our... Oh, he took the... He took the... Skill point that gives him missile resistance. Luckily, we have no missiles, or unluckily... Also, how do you even see this? Uh, how do you even... How did you even see this? Right, it said here, didn't it? It said here if you get... Ancient City of Quintex or Shrine of Cain. That... That this, it would not go beyond that point, didn't it? Okay. Alright, get this shit, and then we'll go down here. Yeah, that's the plan. Oof, alright, we have 40k, and I'm feeling really stupid. So, we need to do this. Greater, nah. Weapon strength, or melee defense? I think melee defense. Let's go for melee defense. No point in getting more health. Keep the Ruby Ring of Ruin, but give her magic attack. Alright, Crone Halbron is gonna have to be the one no, trying to kill Bellacor. The Distic or Blade Master. Be better get Blade Master. Nah, I better get Sadistic. Alright. And did I put you on a Dark Steed or not? What's the difference? So the difference is we get 500 more health and. Everything else is kind of the same. Do I need you to be fast? I guess I could use you to be faster. Give you a potion of strength as well. You play in the dark. Why did you go to... Eh, whatever. Room. I mean, I know why he's here, right? He is trying to ruin well this. But... Sigvald's vassal took it before him. Like, I know, he is, he tries to ruin the Weldis. That's the reason why he came over here. But he failed, and now he's declared war on, uh, whatever they're called. And now he's gonna go back through here to go try and fight them. But I can use this and give Halbron a really good trait, as well as get a lot of slaves and a lot of post-battle loot. So, a lot of stuff that I want. 600. 
I can even just rush this and start building this, which is funny. I'm feeling really stupid, and I'm gonna do this. Power awaits me, ever onward. Do you wish to be crowned as the no? There's no going back now, <laughs> unless I load the save. All right, how bad is it? Valiant defeat. It's not even as bad as I thought. Maybe because of this. All right. Let's see how much. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Let's go. Fear sadism, giving her ability to tear through armor better. <laughs> We're owning him. I wouldn't call it too early. You know. But, um, hopefully, yes, we do. And then we can turn our sights to Valkyria. I'm thinking of selling the the settlements here that I'm going to occupy. I'm thinking of selling them to Sigvold. And just leave that place to him. Not even bother. All right, all right, all right, all right. Do I hide? Probably not a terrible idea. Something else I could do is try to waste the Hell Cannon ammunition. If it wants to shoot at Chrome Hellbron, which apparently not. Because I could just hide behind the trees. Yeah, it doesn't want to shoot at Chrome Hellbron. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. First ever chosen, your arse. <laughs> Alright, need to catch them when they're blobbing. You come over here as well. Hopefully Bellacor doesn't go for her. What's his speed? Uh, he shouldn't even be able to catch up to her though. These guys might. 95, yeah. I really need to be careful with her. Oh, she has Soul Stealer. Right, 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 right. Alright, let's see if we can get them to sort of blob up. Come on, I know you can blob up. Alright, that's probably as good as we're gonna get it for now. So cast it to... It's fine, it's fine. It's, it'll, it's gonna be fine. It missed. Never mind. It could have been better. A few thousand damage only. I don't like this when dealing damage. This is really good to heal her, though. So I'm just gonna be casting uh, Blade Wind, I think. Just need them to blob up a bit more. I don't know why they are not. Alright. It's right there. Actually, I should be fine doing this, no? And just use Soul Stealer to heal it up. Yeah, I should be fine using that. Yeah, he's still chilling. There we go, he activated. Alright, can I kill him with just these two? Probably not. Soul Stealer is better against uh, characters. There is that. Alright, I can use this. Try to heal up a bit. Maybe I should look for a better target. Because these are blood letters. They have mm, spell resistance, yeah. Alright, you go around. I could have her go for the Hell Cannon. This guy, yeah, he's fast. He is actually dangerous then. Alright, I mean, we're in the forest. So most of those Hell Cannon shots should miss or hit trees. I shouldn't be that worried about it. 
Alright, Bellicor is so sort of thinking to go in, sort of uh, thinking not to go in. Don't know what he is gonna decide. Alright, yeah, that missed. Good. Come on, Bellicor. Okay, come on, come on, come on, land, land. Alright. Oh, he's going for her. Even better. Alright, kill Bellicor now. Okay, should I cast this? Probably not. Alright, you just don't get caught. We, we're we still gonna need her to do a lot of damage. Oh. Never mind, you need to go and kill that Hell Cannon. Uh, it got through the trees. Ah, oh, it got through the trees again. Fuck. Move over here. I thought I could just leave it. I can't. Yeah, Bellacor is making mincemeat out of uh, Hellbron and the hero. Get out of there. Nah, 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 nah. Come on. I'm fine with casting Dark Condit on her. If she gets stuck, but I don't want her to get stuck. Oh, another one la landed. You need to kill this. Oh, how is it getting through the trees? The trees are the most powerful thing in Warhammer. <laughs> universe. Oh, this is not gonna be fun. If it keeps popping down. Hundred and sixty kills, two thousand value. Fuck me. That one missed. At least something. So we're gonna need to win this using mostly magic. Go for Bellacor, come on. Oh, this is not going the way I had hoped it was gonna go. Alright, finally managed to shut this... Uh, not before it landed one final shot. Alright, just rampage and deal damage, come on. Alright, go, keep going for Bellacor. Gonna need a good blade wind over here. Actually, no. Get a Soul Stealer. Deal damage to Bellacor. Is this thing sh still shooting? Can you s shut it down, please? Alright, this should be a good cast. Okay. Right, they're coming back. They're coming back. Most of them, anyways. Oh, fuck. You need to get out. Actually, no. Stay in there. Come on, pop, pop, pop. Damn it! That thing is still alive somehow. He just killed them. Please. I hate dealing with hell cannons because of that reason. Alright, do another Soul Stealer. We need to kill Bellacor and we need to kill the uh, hero. And I think that's all the magic we have. Do another uh, one of those on you. Alright, Bellacor is sort of going down. The most da damaged ones, get out of there. I would really like another blade wind. It's not essential though. Finally kill that thing. Alright, come back here and help uh, kill Bellacor. Good, Bellacor down. Just stay there and look pretty. It's kind of hard for her, but you know. Take what I'll get. Wait, what I can get. Alright, try not to get damaged by that. Shouldn't go into us. Yeah, it's fine. And there we go. Army losses. Beautiful. Ooh. So, aside from the Hell Cannon, <laughs> I think everything else went according to plan. Oh boy. Yeah, that that's definitely a fair victory. 
Don't remember if Soul Stealer is proportionate to the damage you do. Nah, it's base. You can cast it on the grounds, hit nothing, and it will heal you the same amount. I'm definitely sure about that. Axe Bizarre Adventure. Tree is unbreakable. Tree, tree was unbreakable, but the Han Hell Cannon actually, uh... They were on something, man. They were sniffing some warp stone because that was the best shooting I've ever seen. Alright, I think it's better to take the money in this situation. I mean, it's turn 9, and uh, we have almost 50,000 income. <laughs> I think I'm being too greedy. <laughs> How do you have 50,000 income by turn 9? That is actually pretty weird, not gonna lie. How do you have that much money? Alright, nothing should be here, so... More here to back that. Yeah, you, I guess she can be on a cold one. Who cares? Okay. Almost rank nine, uh, rank ten. As soon as we get rank ten, we need her to be a life quencher. I think that's how it's called, life quencher. Okay. Brown Hellbron almost able to get her unique skill line. Get this. Now, since we're mostly just uh, fighting these battles in the forest, I could just leave her on a Cauldron of Blood. Cauldron of Blood. Damn it, the Blood, bo the blood God beckons. I'll leave her on a Cauldron of Blood, why not? Also, also, how about we just rush this? Honestly, we have so many slaves, who cares? That's nice, costs 500 slaves. Alright, so let's rush this and start getting hags and start getting sorceresses. Yeah, that's exactly what I need. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, it's time to end the turn and uh, see what happens. Hopefully Sigwell doesn't declare war. Hopefully. Now. Master of you Lord. Noble of Nagarok. Ooh, I can confederate her. Cause even more problems for myself? Why not? Welcome. Speak. If you <laughs> Cruel sorceress. All right. How about I sell the black? Ooh, this is a. There was only vengeance. Ooh. Okay. Maybe I should sell some stuff to him because he's definitely gonna declare war. Okay, this doesn't count. Rest is for the weak. I'm getting rid of him. <laughs> no man allowed. Uh, how about I sell Garen Carr to him? You are the enemy. For all his money, yeah. And try to keep this settlement here. I think that's doable somehow. Maybe. Yes. Wait, is Malik is gonna hate me for that? Yes. Uh, oh no, that's uh, only the confederation penalty. We're good. We are good. And I wanna keep this, so get rid of that and get a... This building. Start getting some witch elves here. And maybe we can Not one handle a listener. Maybe. Hopefully he doesn't declare war on me. Which, you know, is probably going to happen. L Cannon was on that D4C love train. Imagine if Warriors of Chaos regularly had armies with like four Hell Cannons. I mean, it could both make them easier to deal with and harder to deal with. 
right? It depends on which race you're fighting them as. So if there is something that can get behind their lines... Give me more money. Give me all your money. If you have something that can get behind their lines... Uh, and kill those hell cannons really quickly... Then it's kind of detrimental. But if you have nothing that can do that, like in this situation here, then yeah, four cannons would just wreck us completely. Alright, you should be able to force march. Oh, uh, you actually can't. Oh, uh, we actually can't attack this element this turn. Also, they have... Um, they have the garrison building. Alright, probably shouldn't have uh, channeled. Instead, it should have force marched, but too late. True power too late now, so it is what it is. Leave nothing. Leave nothing. This doesn't revolt in one turn. This revolts in five. Alistair didn't declare war on us, which is beautiful. Really nice of him, I must say. So, start getting this and. I think we can make a base of operations here as well. We got the money, honestly. We got a lot of money. I should start building this up. And get ready get it ready for a war with Valkia. Maybe this as well. Yeah. That as well. Alright, check diplomacy and end the turn. I think. Bring ruin. Alright. Not a woman. Into the void you go. <laughs> Damn, why is the AI always building the garrison building lately? I think uh, this is how they start off with. I don't think they actually built it. I think they... Because this was a tier 3 settlement right from the start. So what I think happens is they just get it right so it makes your campaign a bit harder i don't think they actually build it cloying stench lingers everywhere all right this is gonna revolt but i think it's gonna revolt here if we occupy it Bloody hand all right so checking he sacks it for 3,000. What do you see? He sacks it for 4,500. Since I don't want these You're settlements, I'm thinking I sack it, occupy it, and sell it next turn to Sigvold. I think that's the plan. Unequal. On you. I will destroy them. Hopefully I can all resolve and not have to fight it manually, but uh, Let me think of it. we'll see. We'll see how bad it is. Also, can I get... Uh, oh, yeah. Definitely gonna have to fight it manually. It's fine. This shouldn't be a problem. Also, just let me check. You want peace? No? Really? Would they join war against them? No? Uh, okay. Damn it, Bellacor. Alright, so I need to use Death Knight now. And by how much does it go up? Plus a hundred! You're shitting me! Whatever. I'd rather eat a squig. I'd rather eat a squig. Ooh! Okay. I'm not complaining. <laughs> Alright, finally gotten some uh, more women I can recruit. I'll get them later on. Alright, occupy this. How about you channel magic and start coming back over here. Wait, uh, one thing I forgot. At one point in this campaign, I'm gonna be able to... Get the Death Knight Blood Voyage, Blood Voyage, right? So does that count as recruited units or not? Enacting my dark desires. 
It's kind of going to suck if it does. Damn it. Whatever. It doesn't matter. All right. Champion of Cain. So, missile resistance for witch elves. Wait, this... She doesn't give missile resistance to Sisters of Slaughter. Damn it, game. That sucks. She does give melee defense and bonus versus infantry, at least. Uh, it's kind of it kind of sucks that Sisters of Slaughter don't get missile resistance as well. That that definitely sucks. Doesn't matter. Uh, hold on, hold on. Rank 10? Ooh, rank 11. Even better. Uh, Alright, get this and this. What are you gonna give me? No. And no. Damn it. Upkeep for Harpies, War Hydra, Bloodrack Medusa, Black Dragon, and Feral units. Do I get her? And just give her a War Hydra army. Because, I mean, that's not a bad one. And Hydras are uh, women. Medusa stack? Oh. Fine. Fine. I'll keep her then. Ooh, she's getting low on loyalty, though. Four more turns until that wears off. Alright, Imminent Rebellion. Yeah, it's probably gonna be here, and we're just gonna instantly kill it. Alright, end of turn. Do you remember Clan Moors? It was on two different settlements in one province. Uh... I actually don't. Yeah, I really built quite a quite a bit of the garrison building. Really, I, I actually haven't noticed, to be honest. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I just didn't notice, but I kind of don't really pay much attention. I just see a battle, I fight the battle. <laughs> I don't really care. I only care if it's a uh, big Salomon siege. Wait, do, if I fight... Nah, that's, that's, that's too much. <laughs> if I fight battles where I have uh, male characters, the, does that count? That doesn't count, right? <laughs> also, I think I'm... Uh... Yeah, I can win this. We're making things up over here anyways. Oh. Don't worry, we won't burn you on the stake for this. Thank you very much for not burning me. It's not in my nature to surrender a battle I know I can win. Hmm, I don't like how I can't position them better, but it's fine. Alright, so I just need to wait for them to blob up around one of my infantry units, and then we just kill them with Dark Conduit. And these guys just really need to kill the Marauder Horsemen, that's it. I'm, I'm keeping you on fire at will. It should be fine. Shooting this and hold your ground. Right, where should be, where should it be the best cast? Probably on this guy. Just try and get it on as many of their units as possible. Yeah, beautiful. Alright, I'm definitely gonna need another cast of that. This one is not gonna be good enough. I'm gonna need to. The battle's actually not looking great, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna win. Ooh, two minutes. 
couple minutes. It should be fine. It should be fine. Come on. We can do this. Yeah, especially with uh, murderous prowess. Back down, come over here. Come over here. Actually, no, you come over here and you come over here. Yeah, that's a better option. Right, shoot. Dot. Oh, the Dark Condor doesn't actually kill units. Okay. So it just damages them. Interesting. Yeah, that's why... Uh, Dark shards kill everything. Kill everything that's not a woman. Right, come over here. Over here. We absolutely. Oh, come on, man. You message somebody that I didn't see. So kill everything with a beard. Uh, when you put it like that. When you put it like that, <laughs> uh, you're going in the book. Hope you know that. Uh, I can't wait for the new Dawi units. Alright, six seconds and the battle is over. Oh, it's even over as is. Cool. Alright, just try to kill him if we can. If not, it doesn't matter. Come on, you can do it. No. Oh. Damn it. Can you guys do it? 33 speed against his 32. Oh, they're actually damaging him. Nice. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. And we're done. Alright, they're gonna get another lord, which we're gonna kill for more income. Definitely take slaves after this. I hate cube. Bad option. I should actually fidget more with this, but. I kinda can't be fucked most of the time. Alright. Yet, probably the slaves. Yep. Alright, uh, do we get the... So when do we get the blood voyage then? Bloodshed becomes me. So you said we don't actually, we don't actually stop this from ever going down. But I remember it used to be that when you get the ancient city of Quintex and Shrine of Cain, it makes it so you get blood voyages, right? You summon, you use Blood Knight, Death Knight, and the blood voyage you summon is yours, right? So. When do I get that? If ever. Now that they changed it. Mistress of Stuff in this game I just don't get. Right. Is the two of you good enough to kill him? Please tell me yes. Good. Let them know death. Just looking into the screen with his empty eyes sometimes. Be the life of the stream, really. Hmm. 
Let them go this time. Dark Sirius. All right. Let's start getting out of here and uh, prepare to sell it to Sigvold. And I need more witch elves because I, <laughs> I can't be running around with a half stack forever. I need more armies as well. All right, we can get another. Ooh, we can get another four death hags. So what do we get? I want. Uh, ooh, disciplined. Oh, this is the assassin. Uh, there is a disciplined death hag. Give me that. They want fleet, fo fleet footed. I could get. I could get fleet footed. And just have her scout around. And the disciplined one can embed into Crone Halbron's army. Speaking of Crone Halbron, get her off that Fulgen of Blood. I'll keep the death, ha death Hag on it, but definitely not Crone Halbron. Alright, so hopefully Sigwell doesn't declare war on me. This is built up. Do I get a army here? Do not mock me. He is not at war with anybody, sure but he is definitely going to go to war with me. That is a uh, hundred percent certainty. Peerless. Or with her first. Pet woman. Sorceress. Harbinger. Yeah, he's getting ready for a piece. That's good. Fouls. You have. Give me money. I will. Wait, uh, does doing diplomacy with her make Malachis like me more? Yes. No, does not. Of course, I try. All right, let's end the turn. See what happens. You think it's when every Isle faction was destroyed? Before that, it was always AI controlled. You may be wrong, though. Uh, I remember in Warhammer 2, it used to be when you get the two main cities. So when you fill out the first two, it, the Death Knight can't go past My God Point. Yeah, boys. War knew it. Oh! Wow, she actually wants to be friends with me. Uh, definitely not for that amount of money. Yeah, definitely going to war with her. She just killed the Dark Elf faction. So... I remember in Warhammer 2 when you occupied the ancient city of Quintex and Shrine of Cain, stopped it from going lower than a certain point. That's when it uh, let you get. Uh, where, what's it called? Blood Knight armies. Blood Voyage armies. But you know, since I didn't play Warhammer 3 Halbron, I don't know. What a strange deal from her, yeah. Nah, that's shit. Uh, accept the gold. Ready for duty. Oh, the ones we... Confederated, that's fine. I should get another army here going. So... Do we get a Dreadlord or do we get a Supreme Sorceress? Uh, the problem is this, right? She might just uh, decide to rebel, which is going to be bad. Or not. Or not, honestly. It could be just fine. Alright, Spiteful Deathcaster is not bad, so... Supreme Sorceress of Grog. Let us hope she does not rebel. 200 upkeep, ooh. Ooh, that's gonna sting on our economy, which is overflowing, by the way. <laughs> Alright, come over here. Come over here, and you come over here. We can actually put in the evil... Uh, how do I even pronounce this? And pronounce this Troy Master? Troy? Or yeah, I can't pronounce that. <laughs> Troy Master. I I don't know. The evil child. <laughs> the evil child master. All right. Which settlement's gonna give you? Uh, definitely not that. So this. Oh, that, yeah, that one. All right. 
For all your... That's all your money? What about... Uh, what about this? You'd actually be willing to give me less for it. I kind of don't need a war with him right now. I need to kill... Uh, I need to kill Valkyr first. So. So. So, so, so. Nah, don't do trade. Just do this. For now. Also, that denies the Norse skins a beachhead, so that works. Alright, get this in 15 turns, and <laughs> I think we pretty much got all the uh, important technologies. Yeah, more or less. There's nothing else to buff uh, uh, Witch Elves and Sisters of Slaughter, right? That's it. That's basically... What do we get? Ah, we do actually get more speed. Is that it? Yeah, so the only thing we get is 5% ward save and a bit of speed. Eh. Guess it could be worse. Oh, no, no, no. Here we go. Alright, so 5 mel attack and 5% weapon strength. And five leadership. All right, it's it's not terrible, but honestly, some of the other buffs are much better. All right, you are fleet-footed. You are just a scout. Ooh, Valka can't reach that. Nice. All right, you replenish. I should actually embed her in a different army. So. Probably best to give her to this one. Moving amongst them. And let's get another army. So, who do we get? Beast is not going to be bad for when buffing uh, Witch Elves and Sisters of Slaughter. When we eventually get them. So, let's get a be Beast Wizard. Supreme Sorceress of Grog. And have her recruit to... Ooh, we can get Medusas. Honestly, why not? Let's get two Medusas. <laughs> See how how we can make use of them. And end the turn. It's that spite she has in her. Quare Master. That's how you pronounce it? Close enough. Quare Master? Uh. Quare isn't difficult to pronounce if you heard it once. Then just add Master on it. Well, if it's Quare, then yeah, it's fine. I, I can't read it because uh, I would basically read it like Troyer. Because C and H is like Ch. Troyer Master. But Quare Master, yeah, I kind of get that. And they are going... Uh, don't go... What are you doing? Stay there. Be a good little Marauder army and stay there. Oh, I forgot to get... Uh, I forgot to get Sorceresses. Oh, well. So, what does this give us? It just gives us Public Order and Wine. Which, you know, we don't have any trade agreements, so I don't need. I don't need Growth. I don't think so. I could actually do this again. Nah, I don't need it right now. Uh, so, how about... This building sucks. Alright, how about... Since I don't need defenses here... Because uh, my army is right here. Just get the... Public order from... The wine buildings. Because it's much better than the arena building. Yeah, I don't care about that. And sell this to Sigvold. You have a proposal, yes. So this is this element, I think. I do so hate murderous rage before lunch. 
Ooh, I would really like to... Alright, hold on to it for another turn, and maybe he is gonna be willing to give us more for it. And you get some more witch elves. Alright, you come over here, and ambush Sans. Doesn't matter if we ambush them or not, I just need them to come closer. Hopefully they will. So come over here. And you come over here. Alright, get me a... What do you have? Cruel Disciplined Dark Wizard. That's not bad. So we don't have any... Any spiteful ones. It's either gonna be beasts or it's gonna be fire. And both are fine, honestly. Both are fine. Yeah, this isn't even bad. Actually, I might just get Flaming Sword of Ruin. Just to help the Witch Elves a bit. Maybe you can't overcast this, I think. Alright, so I'm gonna leave it for one turn. Nah, actually get the Disciplined. And hopefully next turn we get a... Spiteful one. in one of these three. Yeah, that's the plan. Perceptive is bad. Because it doesn't work on heroes. Shame we can't... We can't get any assassins. There's no map to do. Alright, I think we end the turn. Just checking diplomacy. Oh, yeah. Peace. Give me money. Goodbye. Thank you for your defeat trait. Come again. Medusas have some insane range. I didn't check. Where am I from? I'm from Serbia. I know English is stupid. <laughs> Save the hero too. Thank you for reminding me. I forgot about that. I have little time or love. Oh, war? Yeah, it's no. You know what I hate, honestly? The fact that I don't know what they did. Were people complaining about the fact that I didn't go to war with Valkyrie. Shit. Were people complaining about the fact that Torox destroyed everything in Nagarond? Because when Warhammer 3 came out, like Immortal Empires, Torox just annihilated everything, and now he never goes outside of his settlement. I don't know what they did. Like, I have the feeling that somebody complained that Torox was being too, too strong. And so what they did is just completely gutted him. You got a 10. Oh, why are you... Ooh. I could risk it, you know. Because that's a lot of money. <laughs> Minus 1,200. Ugh. Ugh. Two out of ten, though. She's not gonna revolt until she hits a zero. Give me the money. <laughs> Alright, and just transfer these units to Crone Helbron. I forgot to declare war on Valkia. That's the problem. Err... Death to the Druki. Okay. Um. So I guess she has some exalted blood letters. Okay. Alright, transfer units to her. Okay. Yeah, you lost a bit of loyalty, but it's fine. It's fine. Of the Trans uh, you, yeah, embed here. You Forbidden come over magic. here. Hopefully you're not gonna rebel. I don't think you are. Get this. I mean, whatever we get as an option, I'm gonna be able to set her straight and uh, avoid any potential misunderstandings we might have. 
Right, get this for slaves. And everything else is fine. Alright. Right, now I might... Nah, don't need gross. Don't need any more gross. Get this, because it's much better than the base one. Check diplomacy and declare war on the Gore Queen this time. I don't know why I forgot to do that. So... Are you at war with Bring anybody? No. Well, now you're at war with, with, with me. Let's go. I didn't save the hero. Fuck. Dark Elves at least have the one trait better than Discipline. Spiteful. Yeah. I love Spiteful. I also loved Infernal Dominance. Plus five mel attack, whole army. Why did they get rid of fun stuff? I don't get it. It's not like it's overpowered. It was just fun. Nothing else. Lure spamming does that to your economy. Alright, I lose no units. I am perfectly fine with a low casualty victory. Yeah, we're gonna heal most of that up, so it's fine. 5,000 income, damn. Alright, so this is more worth it than slaves. So let's get money. I do not need them. And now it's time to fight Valkyrie. Hello, how are the girls doing? The girls are doing just fine. This is actually going much faster than I thought, to be honest. Like, I thought we would be stuck in our starting province for a good portion of our campaign. But, uh, I think we might actually just be able to push through and kill Valkyrie. Which isn't bad at all. Also, does borrowing armies count towards a female-only campaign? Like, if I borrowed a... Uh, Blood Voyage Army, does it count? <laughs> Ooh, we got a lot of stuff. Alright, so... Yeah, her loyalty didn't increase. That's a bit unfortunate. Yeah, we mostly replenished. It's fine. We mostly replenished. Alright, so in this battle, you definitely cannot be on the Cauldron of Blood. Forbidden Rod and Trickster Shard. Uh... Okay. Chill wind, blade wind, get that. We do have Medusas. I don't know how well they're gonna perform though. I will decapitate you. I'm gonna have to blob up in forests. That's the thing. If I don't the Actually no. I'm gonna have to blob up. That's the that's the only thing. Uh, they do have skull crushers though. If I don't blob up, the exalted blood letters are just gonna annihilate the witch elves. They don't have enough stats to deal with them. The sisters of slaughter, I think, do, but the witch elves don't. Like 29 melee defense, they're just gonna get shredded, and their physical resistance is gonna mean nothing to blood letters. So we're gonna have to most likely blob up. Whether it's gonna be outside the settlement or not, I don't know. Uh, outside the settlement, the forest or not. Yes, it's a simp army, that's okay. Okay, that's good to know. Okay. What do you seek? Always death knight. Still a valiant defeat. Okay. Okay. Oh, you're the base wizard. Okay. What's the map like? Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to fight in the forest. How speedy are these? 58. 
Could they run away from skull crushers before they manage to close in? Because doggos are fine. They can beat doggos in melee. Oh, they're anti-large. They have a bonus versus large of 90. Yeah. I should get Medusas more often. Damn. I thought they were anti-infantry. Wait, they fill every role. Their missile attack kills infantry and they are good against large targets in melee. That's that's actually pretty good. Huh. I should recruit Medusas more often. Definitely not better than Hydras, but still. Doesn't count, the jury has chosen. At least she has furries and dogs. Yeah, we can kill those easily. The blood letters, though, that's really. Sure. Of 30, but that's still. 30 bonus versus large is amazing. Because look what it does. So it, it gives her weapon strength of 30, and it gives her melee attack of 30. So she has, when hitting large targets, about 80 melee attack. That's huge. For a tier 3 monsters monster, that's pretty huge. I'm just gonna try to be a bit outside of the forest so that they can get shots into the enemy infantry as well. Okay, so there's a slaughter. Come in there. There. Does this count as a Slaneshi cultist stream? <laughs> Uh, but 125 range, that that isn't really amazing. That's okay, I guess. Pain at best. They're very strong with their missile. Yeah, yeah, I know their missile is amazing. Just because it, it explodes and does so much damage. But I didn't know they were also good in melee. Like, that's really good. Alright, so Valkyrie is the only thing I have to be worried about. Does she have her special shield? I don't she I don't think she does. Yes. No no she does. Here it is. Yeah, so she can be invulnerable to damage. I need to be careful of that. Alright, Exalted Blood Letters, start shooting that. Come on, don't miss as well. Yep, beautiful! Look at that, I love seeing that. Alright, start moving a bit back. If Walkia starts charging us, she needs to go for Crone Halbron. I hope. Now, we did damage, but we didn't get kills. We need to get kills, that's more important than damage. Okay, that's pretty good. Start moving back. Yeah, Medusas are good. You just need to position them well for their missile attack. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. It's fine when you have to make a unit good by using it well. It's not fine when a unit is just shit, no matter what you do. Which there are units like that in this game. Alright, how about you use this? All kitchens doesn't care, apparently. She's fine letting her blood letters die. No, don't go into melee. Come out of melee. It's not time for melee. Alright, come over here. You are not really needed, so... Just go into the blob, I guess. Doesn't matter. Oh, you're that far away. Uh, how about you just run off the battlefield? Alright, and I need this one to go and do damage. Alright, furries are going into melee. Let's kill them. They should be pretty easy to kill. Nah, don't run away. Oh, that missed. Oh, Valkyrie, fuck. Get out of there. 
literally got a jump scare when I saw Valkyrie. Time to run. They're taking advantage of me, not paying attention. Alright, Walke is gonna suicide into this blob. So, we just need to bring the Medusas over here. And not get them kill killed along the way. Come on, run. Alright, I think she used her invincibility armor. Uh, shield, whatever it is. Keep running. I forgot about that. How many uses, uses does she have? One, one more. Uh, I forgot about that. Fuck. Uh, I'm gonna have to spread out. Lord of Where are you? Also, what happened with you? Damn it. Go for Valk. Yeah, you can't go for Valk yet. Oh, go for this guy. He's killing the Medusa. Alright, I'm gonna have to spread out. Meaning I'm gonna take a lot of casualties. I'm gonna take more if I don't spread out. Alright, bail out the Medusa. The Medusas, get out of here. Alright, start spreading out. Some of them are r running away. It's fine, it's fine. Just don't die. Okay, use that. Time to use this, come on. Here we go. Time for a blade wind. Over here, where is Crone Halbron? Yep, keep going for that. Alright, I think I'm gonna have to use this. Not there. Too late. Can't change it. Try and shoot that. Still did damage. That's pretty good. Alright. Uh, just use this. Wow, we already popped Murderous Pro S. That means things are not going our way. We need to get out of this blob. I forgot she has AoE attacks. Right, you need to shoot this. Ah, oh, that's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. Do another one of these. Come on. Right, kill that blood blood letter. Right here. Good shots. Shoot this. This here. She's hurting us, but we are hurting her a bit more. I hope. Do another one of these, just go rampage and start killing stuff. Yeah, you can rampage as well, come on. Where are you? Come over here. Yep, the Medusas are doing just fine. Probably shouldn't be rampaging because uh, Valkia might end up killing the sorceresses, but it's fine for now. Alright, come over here, start shooting from there. Alright, keep going for that guy. I need to get the lowest health ones out of the battle. Okay, go for that. Shoot this. Another soul stealer should be good. Right, honestly, you guys should be fine going into Melodot. And perfect, we got we got them arm lost. Good. Oof. All right, not as clean as I had hoped it would be, but honestly, not even that bad. I completely forgot that she can do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably because I never get the spear with her. Thirty-eight thousand damage. Okay. Unless you have something Solnesh themed for later, then yes. We could always do Sigvald or Azazel being perfect. Girl, we girl. Use the queen in the pecking order. Uh. 
I think that the Medusa's ended up being the best unit here. Yeah, so Medusa's not a bad call, not gonna lie. Kinda like a cannon shot. Uh, the spear ability? I thought it was like Sea Fang. Like just something, uh, like a boat going through your army. Which is really funny. Alright, start building this back up. We're gonna take attrition with Supreme all of these of girls, but uh, it's fine. They can handle it. So, get done. Uh, overcasting this, yeah, gives us area of effect. We can actually get really decent uh, physical resistance with our with our ladies. Another thing we could do is just get a Lamasu from the Chaos Dwarves and just have them hover above and deny any enemy magic attack. Imagine that. So, how much could we actually give them uh, resistances? So, Slaughter Lord just gives them melee attack and melee defense. Where is... Alright, so we got another 10% here, right? Uh, life quencher is 10% ward save, right? So that's 60% damage resistance. Nice. That's actually really good. Alright, build this. How much are you willing to pay for this now? Yes, a lot more. Do I wait another turn? I think I can wait another turn. Or probably shouldn't. If he ends up spending that money. So, Excellent. give me that. Give me that money. Ah, oh, making less per turn now. Doesn't matter. So we should be good. Alright, finish putting the skill points in and we can move on. I will see to it. Alright, this and this. Yeah, and then we can get uh, Blood Queen. I need that. Alright, you just get Hecarty's Blessing. Ooh, okay. This one we will actually respect. So, give me Life Quencher. Nice! I didn't even have to ask twice for it. I should save her. Uh, Eternal Hatred? Nah. Get that. Alright, Mel Defense. So, yeah, she's named Life Quencher, so I can just save her. Also, how many times I'm gonna forget? I, there's no point in saving her now. Damn it. I'm not paying enough attention. You know. Alright, Sorceress. We got another Disciplined. This one is. Err. Okay, let's just uh, try and get a spiteful fire wizard, I think. Right. This, this, and this. And that should be it. Alright, alright. Let's move on. You get more witch elves. I could have her... I could disband her and have her come over here. Because she's going to make these uh, these girls are a lot stronger. Yeah, I'll see next turn. Alright. Ouch. Corn spells. Yeah, corn spells. Who, who thought that would be a good idea? <laughs> the Medusa shot is kind of like a cannon shot. Ah, you mean the Medusa shot. Uh, wait, it, it isn't just explodes on contact? Does it actually do as uh, a cannonball and go straight through a unit? Kind of sucks. Are they women though? No, they have beards even. Ooh. I'm kind of... Uh... Speak. But choose your word. No. 
Hi, how did you make so much treasury? A very nice stream. By the way, well, thank you for <laughs> the compliment. And uh, basically just be as greedy as you possibly can. You just didn't spend much. That's it. Eh, probably. Yep. Give me loyalty from you. Blood Voyage ends. Treasury plus 439. I guess that's one more issued. way of getting treasury. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we don't have uh, a lot of stuff to spend it on. Like, if I was playing a normal Dark Elf campaign, I would, I would have uh, had one army here. And two armies here, so I probably would be like uh, 10,000 by now. But we did get events where it basically told us to either choose loyalty or or get 10,000 income. So there was that as well. I sacked a lot of settlements because no point in getting a tier one settlement. Mistress of Harganet. All right, we can do this. Yeah, occupy. I demand loyalty. Noxious potions. Feel my power. Uh, you can't attack, really? Favored of the Witch King. Right, you're a life quencher. I kind of want another army to get ready to attack, attack Sigwald. So... I could send her back. No, I I could also start going for Alyssa Nar. Alright, alright. How about this? Life quencher. Do not Start going over here. What awaits me? If he kills her, I'm I'm gonna lose my mind. Please don't declare war and kill me. How about that? Imagine if he just uh, outright declares war and kills her. That would be horrifying. The perfect RNG was life quencher, and he just gets rid of her. He's like, nah. You don't deserve it. Armor of Eternal Servitude. Now that's a good item. I mean, in which case, why not just disband her? Nah, nah. I'll, I'll risk it. I'll risk it. If I end up losing her, then fuck. Alright, now pop that down so we get a growth faster. And get... What do we get? I guess this. Make sure we don't get attacked by Norskins. I think they have an army somewhere here, so just get that. Okay, Blood Queen, finally. Spiteful Conjuration. And I think we are done. Just check Diplomacy. <laughs> we can confederate them. Err. Did I do it? Did I do more stupid stuff? I mean, honestly... Behold the, black the more stupid stuff, the better. Ready the <laughs> I got the item right! I got the <laughs> item! <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh <laughs> uh, no! Why did it have to be shades? You couldn't have gotten some women. Damn it. I can get the Sword of Cain. <laughs> Alright, sell you this. Or my servants may think you are for slaughtering. Yeah, I actually could go for trade and non-aggression. Why not? As my power ascends. Could you also join war against uh Alario? Probably not. Alright, so how does this work now? Lord of the Black I so don't want to disband you. I'm so sorry. Alright. Who do we get? Well, you don't cost me anything. You're kind of trash anyways. What do we need to kill a Lariel? A lot, probably. More than I can afford. Alright, alright, just get this one, because it's not gonna cost me anything. We also complete that. 
Uh, can't get anything but shades and they take two turns to recruit. So even if I get the building for witch elves, by the time I recruit anything, it, Alaria... Wait, why are you zero? She's zero loyalty. Well, the game is now just being a bitch. <laughs> She's zero loyalty. Why? Damn it. I could do this. Eh, uh, I don't care. I might even just sell the Shrine of Cain. I can't sell it to him. Can I make peace with her? Your hatred and malice will be your destruction, Drukey. Ooh. You do this. <laughs> I don't care. I'll see what happens. Alright, is there anything else I can do? Behold, true power. Yeah, I can start building all of this up. And just forget about this. That's gonna fall. Alright, end of turn. Nobody can stand against me. Where's the poor the blood army? The Lamasu? Oh, it has a beard! Right! Ah, oh, I can't get the Lamasu. Damn it! Yeah, I probably should just sell the Shrine of Cain to Alariel. Don't care about the war with her. You should try to make the Shrine? Yeah, for sure. It's gonna go away in one turn. Yeah, it's, it will go... ...away. The Lord of Murder. Sword of Cain and Dark Elves. Great idea, yeah. The best idea you can ever have. Just completely ruin your uh, <laughs> settlements. It does have a tier 3 garrison building though. I'm not gonna be able to defend. It can have everything. And we're not gonna be able to kill Alariel. I can even do the... The... Alright, good, killing him. I can even do the right to give us more weapon strength when fighting against Alariel. Get the RPs as well. It's still not gonna be enough. the fuck is this? United against us. United. <laughs> Damn it, Alariel, you bitch. She called everybody against me. Damn it. So what do we have for a garrison? Let's see. We have a bit of witch elves, a bit of... Uh, dread swords. Dread Spears, some Shades, some Dark Shards. None of that can win against this. No matter how hard we try. I'm telling you that right off the bat. I can try. Like, I'll I'll put in a new Lord. And I'll try to hold. Try to kill her. But Death Magic is gonna be useless. Uh, dark Magic might probably be the best thing we can get. So just get uh, Dark Magic. Uh, actually, even Flock of Doom is not bad. Maybe get Flock of Doom, yeah, instead of uh, Chill Wind. Get the Harpies. I'm just wasting money, but I'll I'll try and defend it, right? There's no way I can win, though. I can even pop down this, give uh, all of our armies. I think that counts the garrison as well. More weapon strength. Try and face Alario. But she's just gonna completely destroy us. Like, I have no confidence I'm gonna win against her. That's 800 slaves as well. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. Alright, keep sailing here. Moving. There you Luring. go. Alright, get rid of the beastmen before they become a big nuisance. Uh, I can't see. Yeah, you are being reinforced. They're not gonna run away. Okay. 
Works for me. And made back all the slaves that uh, <laughs> we spent for the uh, the ritual. Also, also she is concerning. So why do you want to rebel so much? Nice crone hell bronze on a manticore. That's gonna help us out a lot. Right, come over here. Come over here. Probably gonna have to get another lord. Because I really want to level them up. So get another dread lord, I think. Another strong one, huh? You have spiteful here somewhere. No, uh, the best traits are on characters we can't recruit. If I recruit in this band, does that count? That shouldn't count as uh, I got man in uh, <laughs> my campaign, right? Yeah. All right. What what's the best next best best thing? Definitely not malevolent. I can tell you that much. Strategist. Uh. A bit boring, but that's good. Ish. It doesn't? It's fine? Alright, I'm just gonna... Get rid of him. Hopefully he doesn't rebel. Yep, get rid of you. And... Just checking. Alright, a beast, a beast wizard is not bad. I'll take a spiteful beast wizard if I can get it. Alright, what else do I need to do? This is fine. This here is fine. Yeah, you just keep building up your winds of magic. Should I... Alright, spend some slaves. Don't. I don't want this to rebel. That rebelling would be bad. Kill points and probably just end the turn. I'm surprised Malicus hasn't uh, breaking, broken any treaties with us. Because he must be pissed. Oh, this gives her that. Okay. That's kind of useless. 12% hit points is pretty good. But first let's get this. No, actually... You know what? She's a pretty good fighter now. So how about we start making her army a bit stronger? Yeah, get more melee attack and melee defense for the witch elves. Alright, there's no need to put points into the red line for her. How about we just go Doom Bolt? Dark power. Get this. Chill. Okay, what else do we need? I think that is it. Alright, end of turn. Lose to Alariel. By the way, this is the first defeat of the campaign. <laughs> the defeat we're gonna suffer now to Alariel. If you haven't been taking notice. Valiant defeat even, wow. Yeah, the AI is giving, giving me too much credit. Valiant defeat. All right, let's fight it. See how it goes. Maybe. A fun fight, to say the least. Err. Uh, Err. Uh. I get good dark conduits, maybe. If I can choke point them and kill most of their melee infantry with dark conduit, sure. But how am I gonna kill their archers? That's the problem. Now, you might think... I got fast units, I can kill them easily, but it's not that easy. Then there's Alariel, the Eagle. 
I'm, I don't know how I'm gonna kill that. The Trekins shouldn't be a problem. Dryads as well. But their archers are just gonna annihilate me. That's the problem. Like, everything's fine, right? The biggest problem when fighting High Elves are their archers. You need something to shut that down. And I don't have the tools to shut it down. Uh, and they're splitting up completely, so... Yeah, this is... Uh... The worst possible outcome. I don't even know how to set up here. What do we even defend? So, this point, one tower, and... Alright, this point would be ideal to defend. Where's the... Alright, this here. Maybe even this. You see, here's another problem, right? So, they can just come in with their archers... Set up here and start shooting my units here if I put them over here, right? That's another problem. Dark Riders are horrible at dealing with archers. And I can't get them out of, out of here without taking a lot of damage. Alright, uh, towers. Where's the second tower? One, two... Is this one? Yeah, this one. What is this tower? I don't know. Alright, get the armor-piercing tower. I need to kill one of their armies. And immediately retreat here. So that's kind of what I think needs to happen. Alright, I'm gonna sacrifice a bleak sword to try and make that happen. And I really need the Dark Riders to just go outside this element, but I don't think I can do it without them dying. Alright, you... All of you, try to set up over here. And hope this, uh... This kind of works. At least kill most of her army. Alright, what is this? One, two... Or five. Five units. I am dead. Swiftly. They don't have anything stalking, I think. Ah, oh, yeah. See the range already. You're the defender, but you're going up against the units that have three times your range. <laughs> it's fine when you're doing it as the player, it's not fine when you're getting it done to you. Alright, get the harpies over here. Uh, oops. Okay, that's a really good... A uh, really good one. Yeah, they're immediately going for... For our range units. Try to kill the Treekin first. You just get here. And you just get it, uh, get there. Alright, Dark Riders need to get outside. We need another tower. It's fine if it's just a regular one. Alright, good. Didn't even lose that many. Good. Alright, how about you spread out a bit, get better shots into those three kin. Alright, get this. Good, kill the eagle. The eagle suicided. Alright, shoot the three kin, then shoot the archers. Come on, ignore the three kin. Okay. Good, Shrieken are almost dead. Yeah, you get out of there. Wow, look at this. Like, archers with light armor are actually holding their ground against harpies. That is insane. Just buff them, I guess. 
Right, come up here. Why, why are you here? Doesn't matter, just come up here. Yeah, here comes Alariel. Alright, that's done. Come over here. Alright, in which case, don't even go up. Just come down here. Okay, you're done with that. Come over here. You come over here. He'll have two uses of Dark Conduit. <laughs> Alariel and the Eagle are just gonna kill our entire army, by the way. Alright, how about you just... Uh, don't fight them. Alright, Harpies somehow managed to win that. Dark Riders chase that down. Actually, no. Harpies kill that. Dark Riders chase this down. You come over here. Yeah, this is gonna fall. Then we get another Dark Conduit. Damn it, the hero's coming. Alright, block that and block this. Alright, that's... Oh, that's doing well, but this is not going to be well. Alright, come over here. Damn it, we're gonna lose some shades like this. Alright, come over here, quickly. Alright, you're done. Come over here. This is why I hate fighting... Fighting High Elves as Dark Elves. At least early on. Later on we can kill them easily. But this early... No, not ideal. Alright, keep shooting that. Yeah, this unit's suicided. That's good for us. Alright, we are actually killing the Eagle at the very least. Good, killing that. Good. Uh, yeah, the Shades are not having a good time. What's this? Spears? Right, you need to do this. I have no idea what the these archers are doing. Alright, that's another spear unit down. Come over here. Uh, we can't cast spells though. Uh, should I just not target her? Try to kill her. If you can't, I'll just swap targets. Alright, turn around. Alright, they can kill her. Kill her, so she's not immortal right now. So just try and kill her. Alright, one of you come over here, defend this. Good, good, good. This is actually going much better than I thought. Try and kill that. Uh, what do I do with you? Come over here. I don't want to send the harpies into melee against this, but I just might have to. What are these? Dryads? Or here. Good! We actually killed a hero. Nice. Alright. Start moving here. Try and kill that. Harpies need to go onto those range units. ASAP. Uh, this is not the unit that wanted to fight the... Dark Riders. Doesn't matter. Uh, Alright. You try and get at that unit. Go kill this. Harpies come over... Here, attack this. They're gonna lose, but at least they can put up a fight. Why can I not target this? Damn it! Come on, don't... Don't annoy, annoy me right now. Alright. Alright, alright. This is uh, going much better than I thought. Yeah, look at this. The range at which they can target our harpies. It's going much better than I thought, but we are... Still in a position to lose. Oh, Sisters of Avalorn. I forgot about that. <laughs> Look at them. They can't win against basic archers. Alright, shoot this. You guys come over here. Damn it. Can you reach this unit? Not, not really. I really need a Dark Conduit right on dots. Alariel's actually dying. Which is surprising, to say the very least. Alright, come over here, attack dot. Harpies are somehow still not dead. Over here, come on. 
Shoot the dryads. You come over here. Actually, try to shoot these dryads. You come over here. Ooh, Alarial is dead. Alright, abandon that. Rush their range units. We might actually be able to win. Alright, where are you? Good, good. Capture this and go up. Just rush them, stop them from shooting. We have one more use of Dark Conduit. Alright, move out of there. Yeah, Dark Riders are so bad. Cavalry units that can't kill range units. Beautiful. Good. Did you... Yeah, you ran away like a coward. Doesn't matter. Alright, come up here. Attack the archers with light armor. Alright, keep going here. How good is this gonna be? Tell me it's gonna be amazing. Come on. Tell me it's gonna be amazing. It's pretty decent. Still not army lost, though. There we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, we actually did it. Just run them down now. Oh, man. We actually did it. <laughs> uh, not gonna lie, this went perfect. As close to perfect as perfect perfect can get. Oh boy. Use harpies for <laughs> tactical conduit. I was uh, I could have actually, yeah. Doesn't matter. We did it. Where very well done, thank you. Now we had to have to do that for another who knows how many times, yeah. And against much higher tier units as well, don't forget that. Alright, get rid of the Sisters of Avalon and we can end the battle. Oh man, I didn't even lose a single unit, surprisingly. This is a sign from Cain. Keep the Shrine of Cain, got it. Pick up the Sword of Cain, got it. <laughs> Build it. Build the Shrine of Cain. <laughs> We're just gonna have to recruit as many Witch Elves as I possibly can. Oh, man. Don't forget, Tyrion will join war against us. Tyrion's gonna come next. And Alariel did this much damage, right? I don't think we are gonna ever be able to kill Tyrion. It's like, how to beat, beat anything in this game, just throw Tyrion at it. And you'll suddenly see the problem is has gone away. They, they have another army somewhere, by the way. Yep, he's getting ready to go to war with me. That's not nice of him. Wait, is he at war with Silostra? Please tell me he's at war with Silostra. He's not at war with Silostra. Do I keep the regions in the Chaos Wastes? Probably should, shouldn't I? Oh, and the only upside to playing Dark Elves in Warhammer 3 uh, instead of Warhammer 2 is there's no Chaos Invasion coming from here. <laughs> so I can actually claim territory and not worry too much. Nice. Chaos Waste is green, so why not? Yeah, I just told you because uh, I have PTSD from playing Warhammer 2 Dark Elves. Get out of here. Who are you to try and do that? If a Lariel couldn't win, who are you to think you can? Alright, just give her... Ooh. 
Topple the statues. Minus five. Really? Her loyalty is fine. Income from sacking and looting settlements plus 100% faction wide. I have never seen this, and she's a level 1 character. Brass Horn is also really good, but this is not great. I'm gonna have Rebellions on my hands. Which I could win, because of... Because of Dark Conduit, it's still active. Alright, doing this will probably give me something like 10, 20,000 more income, right? Doing this will give me a really good item for this campaign in particular. So which one do I do? Her can be praised. Her can be praised. Hmm. Just be a greedy boy. Alright, alright. Let's be greedy. Uh, who do I swap you with? Not a, not a dude, that's for sure. Alright. What do you mean your loyalty is zero? Uh, I think it's the bug. Next destruction. It's definitely the bug. Noble of Nagaroth. Coming ashore. Cruel I can the, the I can't disband her. It's definitely the bug where loyalty goes down to zero for characters you confederated. So that's annoying. I was saving up this Winds of Magic for nothing. I could have just gotten more Witch Elves. Doesn't matter now. Alright, she's a Life Quencher. Good. Alright, this is probably just gonna be a all resolve victory. But... Who do we attack it with? Alright, just a bit closer. There you go. Yeah, of course he's gonna run away. No, don't make me trespass against Malachus, really? Your people will suffer for your clumsy attempts at diplomacy. Could you join war against... Uh... Yeah, I'll pay you. Very well. I'll pay you. Greedy bastard. I'm supposed to be the greedy bastard, not Malachus. Also make the shrine. <laughs> Have you seen the other army waiting in queue for uh, to attack us? They can reach us this turn. Supreme sorceress of uh, what is your I also don't know if you actually uh, because of this we actually did get not this. Uh, why can't I hover over it? Oh, that's the wrong one. Yeah, because of this we actually managed to get some replenishment in red territory. So I don't know if you noticed the other army waiting to completely slaughter us or not. I want them dead. Not to mention the fact that I still don't have any good units. I still only have harpies. Tell you what, if I am able to win against this army, I will try to hold on to this. Harkness executioners and shades. Damn it! If this wasn't six thousand. I would rush this. I would rush that for 3,000 slaves. Yeah, I actually would. Mother of the Dark Convent. All powerful. Arkan be praised. No, nah, Cain be praised. <laughs> Cain be praised. <laughs> now I just need a good lord here to pick up the sword of Cain. Or should I just pick it up with her? Why not cause me some more issues? Why not cause me irreparable campaign issues? Why not? Why not make Malekith hate me even more? Why not? <laughs> Pain, the Lord of Murder, has taken over Dark this bloody stream. Foul sorceries. Mother of despair. 
the escape can be made again. Yeah, but you, did you see how much slaves that cost me? Oh, <laughs> this campaign's already great. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Your desire? Be ready. Searching. Limitless power. Setting forth. Oh, Sword of Cain with Dark Hells. It's gonna bite me in the ass so much, you have not a clue. The the only thing is though, I can just drop it whenever I feel like it, right? If I'm like, uh, Sword of Cain causing too many problems, I can just drop it. Oh, this is gonna cost me the entire campaign, but at this point, I just don't care. Well, Just curious, do, do the Harganet Executioners help me or make things worse? Because there are a lot of ballots in power, so they have to make, uh, make good on... Uh, they have to do a lot of damage in battles to be good. Absurd. This is gonna... This is gonna be very interesting to see how it goes. Alright, mel attack for your army. Next is mel defense. Fervor, why not? And... Yeah, you're fine. What am I missing? I know I'm missing something. I can't remember. I didn't do something I should have. I just can't remember. Going now. All right, let's get another hag, with, uh, death hag, and get another sorceress. Disciplined beast is not bad, and I get a. Why can't I get a single spiteful one? What did I want? I wanted fire spiteful, right? So disband you. They will do. Yeah, you're fine. You're you. She definitely needs to be a life quencher. Spill stealer. Yep. Thank you. I definitely need a wizard here because our wizard lord has said goodbye to us, basically. And I don't want to recruit another one until this one's disbanded. What do we do here now? Get this? Why not? Start getting an army in the middle of Ulswan and uh, see how that goes. <laughs> If it ends in complete another disaster or not. Of glory. Wow, she wants peace. Uh, no peace. Just war. Now let Tyrion come. Wait, why does that sound so weird? <laughs> uh, that sounds too weird. Let Tyrion come. <laughs> uh, she's a, She just besieged it. Yeah, I think we can kill her. Dropping it is allowed, not a problem. <laughs> we just gave Sword of Cain to a random level 4 girl. Uh, there is a bug, I think, where if I respec her, she is gonna go into the uh, recruit pool and still have the Sword of Cain. That's a good way to make the Sword of Cain go bye-bye from this campaign. <laughs> We're still gonna get the debuff, though. I need to get Bellacor to help me kill Alariel. From the shrine, we will make our invasion force. What's funny is that we can actually help the the Blood Knight, or whatever it's called. Blood Voyage, right? We can make it uh, a bit stronger, give us more money. Wow, she didn't revolt. Wait. Oh, she didn't revolt. Wait, can I farm her for good stuff? Because this is just 20 turns. Wait, I can farm her. I can just keep her here at zero loyalty 
and get uh, get dilemmas like that that boost my factions as a whole not to have to worry about yeah why don't i just do that i think i'm gonna find out why but uh as it stands i'm just gonna do that yeah supreme sorceress of Grant. all right sack value is better for her there's an army here may their death be slow Game of the year. I think you need to put that in all caps. <laughs> Game of the sogan year. Seeking entertainment. I can just keep her there indefinitely. Oh man. Alright, sack and occupy. Potion of strength is not what I want to. You take leave of your senses. Enchantress. Seize this place. Okay. Alright, get the money there, because uh, everything else is fine. Don't need control, give me give me more income. And I think you are just fine. I mean, force marching doesn't actually get you any closer, so who cares. Alright, deadly onslaught. Powerful sorcerer. Right, pans and penetrable pelt, and checking to see if there are any more marauder armies. Doesn't look like it, so we should be fine. We should be fine. Uh, this, this, yep, and give me a wizard. Tell me she is spiteful, perceptive. Right, get rid of perceptive. That doesn't even work for heroes, does it? I think that's just bug completely. Okay. Who seeks me? Okay, I think I'm done for the turn. I oh right, I'm not done for the turn. Never mind. They're actually standing and fighting. What do you seek? Yeah, Pyrrhic victory. Um, <laughs> no, 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 no. We have to fight this, and I think it's gonna be easier than the previous battle. I think, not a hundred percent sure. She just needs to not die. Yeah, because I want her to be leveled up. We got a sword of a sword of Cain. How bad can it be? Someone show this to Tariff. <laughs> yeah. Wait, why why has nobody ever done this before? Because it gives you a supply line. No, this just uh, this is a bit weird. Why has nobody done this before? I mean, in Warhammer 2, I get why not. It gives you 15% supply line. But here it's just 4%. Will turn out to be the sword of pain. All right, so our entire army is on the battlefield right at the start. That's beautiful to see. Alright, they got eagles, that's scary. Most of our army is damaged, that is uh, not ideal. But, we have the Sword of King, and the power of... Um... Yeah. Alright, come over here. Alright, let's see how much damage we can do with her before they start trying to kill her. So, 20% ward save. Oh, they see the dark... Oh! Is that tracking? No, it's not. So we can dodge that easily. Good. The only thing is, we can't recharge this because she has to be in melee in order to recharge it. Oh, no, 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 no. What happened here? That is actually fine. Ish. Right, start retreating a bit back. And I got hit by the thing. Alright, just charge on in. Just charge on in. Come over here. You to come over here. That's a really good cast. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Okay. 
Get another unit in that. Yep. Just don't die. I mean, she's uh, she's unbreakable, so that's fine. Uh, here. Right, Harkness Executioners, come over here. You go a bit forward, start shooting again. Dark Shard shooting is just fine. Right, I could use her to buff our units a bit. No, the Eagle. Tell me this, uh, oh crap. Kill the eagle. Get out of there. Uh, shoot this. Get in the middle of the blob, come on. Good, the eagle stopped. Alright, kill this. More here. We can pop down. That's a bad target. Hold on. Where can we pop it? Right, come over here, start shooting that. The them, yeah. Oh, I need to somehow stop their units from shooting us. They're killing us completely. Oh, I forgot about the harpies. Uh, I had a way to stop them from shooting. And she's getting killed by something. I don't know what. Uh, by the princess. Okay. Alright, Shades are doing a really good job. You need to... If she takes another shot... No, don't shoot! Don't shoot the... Damn it, I need to micro too many things. Alright, move up. Why did you stop? This is why I hate Harganess Executioners. Alright, in hindsight, I probably should have. Uh... Nah, other result would have been worse. I can still win. This is just terrible results. Is all. Now this is what's pain and suffering. Oh! Get out of there! Alright, at least she's alive. Alright, come up here, start shooting what's left. Start shooting what's left and I think we're done. Oh man. The princess almost killed my, <laughs> my lord. Alright, somehow we're not completely winning this. Alright, how about you disengage and try to run down units. To go over, try and get that. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna risk it for another... For another... Uh, yeah, she's, uh, she's not getting shot, good. Shoot the eagle. You get out of there. Imagine if the noble just decided to go on her. Yeah, he doesn't. Don't know why. I'm not complaining, but don't know why. Alright, shades kind of aren't amazing at killing the enemy lord. It's fine, it's fine, honestly. Alright, we don't lose any units. We did take a lot of damage, but since we have the right of Kane active, I don't think they have anything else to kill us. Attack us over the end turn. Since we do have the right of Kane active, we should be fully replenished in about uh, two, three turns. It's not even that terrible. Just kill the Lord, who's on horse back, so we can't even kill her. Can't even kill this guy. Whatever, kill whatever you can and in the battle. Please don't kill our own units. I should have actually tried to do a bit more dark conduits, but it's too late now. Quick victory. The power, power of friendship, of course. It's totally a dark elf thing. <laughs> For sure. This is going well, you say? Uh, we won. I say it went well. <laughs> Got a 
half of our army killed and almost lost the lord that has the sword of Cain. But, you know, still alive and kicking. I call that an absolute win. I should have put a dark sorceress, though. Because they that way she could heal. Also, you should probably rush construction on the witch, el witch elf thing. I don't think you're wrong. I do not think you are wrong. Who's Bellacor at war with? Could you just join war against Alariel, please? Yours is not to question. Ah, you are at war with Alariel. Always existed. Nice. Supreme sorceress of Six hundred slaves. Uh, whatever. Supreme. Two turns. <laughs> Two fucking turns. I sense Cain's presence. All right, what do we get? So wild heart, not bad. Amber spear, completely not trash. Let's get Pan's impenetrable pelt. Not gonna help too much, but you know, every little bit helps. And I think we are good to end this turn. Should they also get? Uh, nah, nah. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. We're spending enough money on that as is. Do not do that. All right. End the turn. Oh. Okay. Please tell me you're not sending another army to kill me. She does not give up. At least I can replenish. Oh, man. The Lord of Murder. Ah, uh, of course Sigil wants to be best friends. Nah. I'll pass. Alright, Valkyrie's back. I should maybe give her trait to another lord. Make it a dread lord. I don't want to respec a... I mean, is her lord even... Is her trait even that important, really? Alright, so he blew up Tor and Lek. Great. Give it a damn. Hello, Slanishy Demon. You're right on time for... The perfect campaign for you. I wonder, do you, do you sorceresses have bare feet? So we can show Slaneshi Demon what he has been craving for such a long time. Alright, hold on. Supreme sorceress of nah, they don't. Oh well. I know, I think Morassi has bare feet. Oh, she actually did uh, manage to rebel. Okay. Kill her. Never mind. I honestly thought she wouldn't rebel on the sea. She had zero. Why didn't she rebel the first time? Kill, kill, kill! Dreadlord, awaiting command. Wear cosplay? Uh, you want me to wear a bikini? I don't have one though. <laughs> That's pretty good. Damn. Okay. Cruel Dreadlord. Alright, that saves us a lot of money, not having to pay for Mixing spells. For another lord. Uh disciplined. Where is Sorcerer Where is my spiteful character? I didn't check sorceresses. Uh wizards, whatever they're called. Hey. Yeah, they also don't have I think Morassi has bare feet. Not sure. Okay. Crone Should I just raid? I'm gonna be taking attrition, so might as well come here and Take start raiding. Wow. 295 slaves. Look on me and despair. That's actually not bad. Supreme sorceress of Honestly, how ra how bad 
bad rating can be. A few hundred slaves is not bad at all. Finding it hard to speak lately. Kind of infuriating, not gonna lie. Alright, let's check out our... What do we name her, even? The shield against the Dark Elves. Just give her everything, basically. <laughs> Alright, get rid of that, definitely, though. Get rid of that as well. Fucking hell. Black Staff. Uh no. That's bad. Bitten Rod. An Amulet. Ruby Ring of Ruin. I kind of don't want a Ruby Ring of Ruin. Definitely want Shield of Gorond. Pretty good. Wait, this isn't... Why didn't it automatically equip on Crone Halbron? Are you kidding me? So we could have... Uh, not like we fought any battles, but we could have had... 15 more ward save, and what is uh, what is Amulet of Dark and Fire? Yeah, that's kind of bad. Talisman of Protection, unfortunately nothing else to fuse it with. And is it this already the end of the turn? Wow, nothing happened. Of the Witch King. Just killed a treacherous bastard. Handed. I should probably just get the Disciplined Master Wizard and not... Not worry too much about anything else. They've also done that a lot sooner. Okay. Are we done? I think we are done. Who seeks me? Uh, the Bastion against the Dark uh, the High Elves. <laughs> uh. Agreed. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We should name her in something. I I just don't have any good ideas into what. What? Mistress of Skulls. Nah, you're dying. Alright, end of turn. Batty, that's her name. Batty the Sword Slapper. Hmm. Those are not bad names, not gonna lie. Batty the Sword Slapper. Alright, but this war with Valkia is going on for too long. We need to just put an end to her. Probably put an end to the dwarves. I don't want to put an end to Katep. His territory is trash for me. I just want to go and kill Sigvold. Why is it so hard to go kill Sigvold? Raise or sack the following settlement. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, where is Praise Urkon? Five turns. Can I... Can I manage to do all of that in five turns? Probably not. Alright, keep going there. You're gonna take attrition, but... Um, not much I can do about it. This is gonna be a really difficult siege. 20 units in Valkyrie. Withering scales. I might. Uh, no, nah, armor of eternal servitude is not bad. But double regeneration is kind of worthless. Crimson Dust. Do I have a. Okay, I have a sword of ant heroes. Give you that. That's better on you. Haldor's Bane. Crimson Dust. All of these are items are really bad. I want to keep the Ruby Ring of Ruin, though. I kind of wish I took the item that give, gave us Smell Defense for a short duration. I want to not. Alright, so I could just set sail and kill her and then try to come back. I risk somebody attacking me, but I Stop think it should be magic. fine. And I really want to get rid of this. Alright, I'm gonna do something even more stupid and keep building this up. <laughs> well, uh, wait, I can't even... 
I can't? Really? Dealing death. Oh man. Not. So now I'm in her zone of control. No. Your desire? Damn it. Whatever. Doesn't matter. One turn of sitting in the sea doing nothing is fine. Alright, well, this was a fast turn, I guess. Give me... Damn it. I just get two good heroes to embed into this army and start killing Alessanar or High Elves. How long does this last? Hold on. Six more turns, damn. Okay. Or simply the unrelenting avatar of Cain. Hmm. Unrelenting avatar of Cain. That's kind of a mouthful. I like Batty, but I don't like Sword Slapper uh, part. Sword something, yes, but Slapper uh, kind of doesn't sound great. Oh, Malik is taking Valkyrie's territory. That should be mine. Damn it, Malikus. I shouldn't have brought him into war. I could sell... I could actually sell her settlement to him for military alliance. And then confederate him later on. That's not a bad idea, either. Really, I'm shame I'm not gonna be able to complete the mission, though. She's gonna have 40 units in that settlement, damn it. I think Crone Halbron should be able to kill her. Should. But it's not gonna be a pretty battle. It's gonna be really ugly. The Strongler. Because she strongles. That one's weak. Pride of madness. Man, I'm hungry. Why am I hungry? Damn it. I can never eat enough. Behold my beauty. What's the sack value for this thing? I will decapitate. If I'm gonna sell it to Malicus, I might nineteen thousand. <laughs> yeah, if I'm gonna sell it to Malicus, I might as well sack it first. So he, who cares about bringing it to uh, tear down? Feel my power. Who cares? I'm just gonna sell it to Malicus. And then I'm gonna go kill Sigvold the... I don't know what. I need an insult. Alright, that makes us money. And... Let's start getting some Sisters of Slaughter. Also, let's get another army of Witch Elves going. So, Supreme Sorceress, what do we have? Okay. Oh, there we go. Spiteful. Supreme forgot to check that. That's what I forgot. Uh, okay. I'm gonna need some Medusas here as well. Err, our income is gonna go bye-bye. Alright, let's fight this battle then. This baddie works well for her. She's a baddie anyways. Alright, let's just make her baddie. And then fight this battle. <laughs> God of murder. Definitely sacking this. Why is it a Valiant Defeat? I know why it's a Valiant Defeat, but still. Could it be a... Fairy victory where nothing dies? That would be ideal. Oh, man. This campaign is going in so many directions, just not the ones I thought it would. <laughs> not gonna lie. Is this one winnable though? It's extremely winnable.
Just need to kill Valkia with Chrome Halbron. It shouldn't be that hard. Wait, did I put the Armor of Eternal Servitude in her? Or Armor of Eternity, whatever it's called. I might have just fucked up if I didn't put that on her. Alright, so what I need to do is get Valkia to proc her unkillable shield. And then run away, because we are faster. We have the Banner of sw Swiftness. And then go back in, proc uh, everything we can on Crone Halbron. I hate this. Why can I not move my reinforcements here? Stupid game. Whatever, keep the reinforcements there. Alright, spread them out a bit, just in case Valkia can uh, use her spear thingy. Okay. Alright, so she should have 25. Yeah, I didn't put the armor of eternity on her. She still has glittering scales. Why does she have 15 physical resistance, though? Doesn't matter, because Valkia has magic attack. Yeah. Ooh, magic and flamey attack. And she's... Ooh. No matter how strong Crone Halbron is, that might actually be too much to handle. 110 speed, 100 speed. We're definitely faster. We're definitely faster. Also have magic attack. She has physical resistance. Less war save. Less health. But she's gonna deal 25% more damage to us. Yeah, this is the situation where I need... Uh, Dragon Bane stuff. The fire resistance stuff. Alright, you come over here and... Medusas, come over here. Bash down the gates. Oh, that causes me to miscast? Really? Well, the one advantage we have over her is we can heal and she can't. Why is she gaining on us? Alright, come over here and kill her in the Blob of Witch Elves. Blob of Witch Elves. No, come back! Why are you running? Come back! Come on, Valkyrie. Right, one hit. Yeah, she uh, she procs her stuff. Get out of there. We actually got two hits off. Right, go back. Uh, she got a hit on us. Come on, hit her. Good. Uh... Okay, I think I should hit her a few more times and run away. Nah, we're not hitting her. Get out of, get out of there. Get out of there. We're not hitting her. I need to get rid of Valkya somehow. What is this? Oh, okay. Right, how about you cast it from all the way over there? It missed. It hits Furies, though. If she could f land here, or in the Medusas, I can kill her easily. Alright, I think she's going for Crone Hellbron. Come on. This time for real, yeah? Yeah? Come on. Nah, why you turn back at the last possible second? Ooh, I can get her with this. Yeah, that should be a really good cast. Get her heroes as well. Come on, land on the Medusas. Come on. Yeah, that actually did a lot of damage. I should do that more. Alright, land. 
Look at look at her. Come on. Damn it, Valkyrie. Alright, everybody else come over here. I forgot about them. I, ever ready. I need to kill her somehow. I can't have her do the exact same thing she did last time. Where she just <laughs> almost destroyed our entire army with the spear ability. Alright, I think that one hit. Not perfect, but it did, it did hit. Alright, I got a lot of magic, so that's fine. Alright, how about we try bashing the gate with only one Medusa? Because I don't think they're hitting it. Oh, no, no, no. Get out of there. Oh come on, Valkyrie. Maybe I could try and shoot her. Nah, that missed. Don't shoot her. This is being more annoying than I thought it would be. Not gonna lie. Yeah, we're definitely bashing down the gate now. Land. Land. Yes. Good. Kill her now. Quickly. Uh, okay, she's not attacking at the very least. <laughs> Come on. It should be easy now to just dogpile her. Good. Good. Perfect. This guy. This is going just fine. One more. There we go. Alright. Now we can start doing stuff. <coughs> Alright. And wounds did not trigger. Nice. Nice. Get rid of the gate and let's bash their skulls in. Disable that. You're gonna need to spit on them. Because you know, uh, Halbron bashes down the gate. Why is it taking her so long? 300 damage per hit, really? It's that bad. Maybe that's why it took so long for the Medusas to do it. Alright, I just need to be careful that they don't activate this. I could also kill the heroes by just using Soul Stealer. That'd be nice. Trading pretty evenly up to a point, but we got rid of her. We got rid of her. Alright, when. We get rid of the gates. I'm gonna try and knock these guys off the walls. And we can just kill them. What? Oh, right. I need to... Forget about that. Oops. Right. I should be able to knock him off the walls. Yep. Now kill him. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> get, around. get out of there. Crap. Oh, man. Really? Alright, they disable it at least. Alright. Time to do it with this guy as well. There we go. <laughs> Reverse gangbang. <laughs> that was dirty? Yeah. Uh. No, no, no! What are you doing? What are you doing? Get out of there.
<laughs> she almost went to, to her death. Imagine being that guy, falling off a wall, getting swarmed by half-waken, <laughs> half-naked women. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Alright, somebody needs to run him down. So let's have another half-naked woman do it. Alright, are there any more heroes we need to kill? Doesn't look like it. Oh, no, there is another one. Here we go. Uh, cl climb back on the wall. Oh, crap. Alright, at least we avoided the worst of that. Climb back on the wall. You don't want to get swarmed by <laughs> half naked women. <laughs> uh, some chaos champions in this game. Alright, I still don't want to just uh, march on in there, but I could. I could just do that. It shouldn't be too difficult now. Alright. I would much rather, though, try to shoot through the gate with the Medusas. And, uh, yeah, you're right. That, it is actually like a cannon shot. I never noticed that. I mean, I need to... I need to get rid of the blood letters. Everything's fine, except the blood letters. So as soon as we get rid of most of the blood letters, I'm gonna go in. Nice damage. Alright, shoot this. Yeah, it is exactly like a cannon shot. I never noticed that. <laughs> drowning drowning in a swarm of goth chicks. You got a man now. <laughs> What's the damage against trolls like? Yeah, it's pretty bad. Alright, I think I'm just gonna send them in and see how well it goes. No, not yet, not yet. Hold on. Can shoot them a bit more. Can you get the blood letters? Without going into melee? Good. Alright, don't get shot. Ah, uh, alright. Alright, it's time. I think we weakened them as much as we could. So it is time to just go in and slaughter them. It should be fine. Do you use the Shrine of Cain mount at all? Can I re even remember what it does? Uh, it basically gives you 5% uh, physical resistance. So the answer is nah. I don't use it. It's too big. Uh, I think it's called the Blood Shrine though. Alright. Hold on. Gotta go here. Our half-naked women are taking too much damage. Alright, let's use this first. This does a lot of damage. So long as it doesn't bounce and go back into us, it should be fine. Yeah, that's really good damage. Okay. Alright, Blade Wind. Just put the most da damaged ones out of here. Damn it, stop doing that. Also, Hags, get in there. Alright, don't cast that just in case. Ooh, that is really, really bad. Alright, cast one of these. It should be fine. Alright, I can send in the Medusas into melee as well. It should be fine. As soon as these ones are outside the range of this ability, we're gonna cast that. Why are you all the way over there? Come come over here. 
Alright, we need to stop this from shooting somehow. So many blood letters. Ooh, I can use that. And this. And then cast this. Also, this guy finally manned up, but he didn't want to go on the walls. <laughs> Alright, cast this. Unleash the fart clouds? Yeah. That's the last usage of the fart clouds, though. Alright, I really need to do a bit more damage. So, do this. I don't think it's gonna hit our units. Alright, come back into the blob. Yeah, it didn't hit our units. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, you're too damaged. Get out of there. You are definitely too damaged. Get out of there. Alright, attack this. Can you please not die? Please and thank you. Alright, go for that. Yeah, use another one on you. Actually, you can. Ah, uh, you can't use it. I didn't put points. Uh, don't matter. Alright, give me another blade win first. Ah, oh, the Medusa's stuck. Shit, that's too much slash. Too much slash, man. Alright. Go for the trolls, I think. Actually, no, go for this. This unit's gonna take too much damage. Alright, go for the hero. If you can. 15 wins left. I come back over here. Where are the death hags? Get in there. Alright, how many kills? 280. That's... Could be better, honestly. Alright, cast another one of these. How much damage though? 40,000. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good damage. Alright, how about you cast this? Just go into a frenzy and murder everything. Alright, I'm gonna try to pull them out and start shooting. I think that's the good call. The good call. Shoot that. Shoot this. What are uh, Marauders? Yeah, Marauders we can kill. Why are you not fighting? How about you go kill some chaos trolls? Still not a clue. That's uh, scary. You not maybe shoot as close to my blob? Uh, I think they hit the blob. Alright, that's annoying. Good here. There you go, that's much better. Alright, I I like Medusas. Not gonna lie, I like Medusas. <laughs> Definitely didn't like them before this stream. Now, I must say, I actually do like them. You know, if you're running a melee-only melee army, they can definitely be good. I wouldn't put them in armies with Shades or Dark Shards, but melee-only armies, yeah, this is pretty good. Oh, look at that, beautiful. They shoot so quickly as well. Why is Slanesh so... <laughs> Damn it. Remember Legend video about Sisters of Slaughter team stack? It was pretty good. Uh, I remember something like that, but I didn't like it. I think just a regular Dark Shard army is better than that team stack. At least in Warhammer 2. In Warhammer 3, uh, maybe it's better? I don't know. We can make one, and then I'll tell you if it's good or not. Ooh, beautiful. 
Medusas are some of the best units of the Dark Elf roster. Uh, like I said, if I was building a normal army, so just uh, a lot of Dark Shards and stuff like that, I don't think I would be putting Medusas in it. But in this kind of army, where you just go majority melee infantry, I think Medusas are really strong. Because they can actually shine, right? They have really low range for, for armies that have Dark Shards and Shades in them. So it, it's kind of, you know, better this way. Did Snake Ladies get buff in Warhammer 3? I think they did. Man, the, I mean, like, well, I thought you said you were going to stop. <laughs> I think they got changes. Uh, okay. <laughs> 10,000 income from fighting that battle. And another 20 for sacking the settlement. Okay. You know, I always knew Dark Elves were strong. I didn't think they were this strong. Stonks, yeah. Super stonks. Why did I do that? Whatever. I think she needs to be a better fighter. Sixty-nine k. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Slanesh is uh, taking over the stream. Full force now. Planesh just does not care. Alright, get a few more witch elves. Did I... No, I didn't. Get rid of you. Ruined the 69, but oh well. Tell me I got a... Damn it. Alright, look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna... Recruit the discipline one. My skills are yours. And the next turn, I'm gonna get spiteful. Here. They are bloody handed. Right, arcane conduit. That's good. Word of Cain. Why not? Might as well. And this tenacity is fine. Right, evasion and transformation of Kadon. Why not? Wait, are you rank 8 only? Never mind. Right, build up Grand. Grand. Just Grand. Okay. That should be fine. I don't think it's gonna rebel. And am I done for the turn? I think I am. Sorceress of Grand. Ooh, not. She can actually make the attack. Nice. What? What is this? What a piece of shit game. Scream for me. The weak shall fall. Whatever. Whatever. Why only five slaves though? You still can. Okay. Who seeks me? Can I now force march back on oh, land? It. No. Imagine if Belakor takes this time to attack me. I am the Because he doesn't like me. He doesn't Oak. like me. <laughs> the one. Uh, please don't declare war Slides on me. I can't win against way. that. There's no way. Well, I guess um, our invasion plan of Ulfwan is kind of foiled by Bellicor, but, you know. Alright, end the turn, and we'll see. No, 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 hold on. Damn it. Nah, just end the turn. I'm gonna suffer a turn of not building this up. Daddy? Yeah, it was Mr. Dadster. You can thank Mr. Dadster for that one. <laughs> Alright, definitely selling uh, 
Dagrex end to Malicus. And hopefully I get a military line. Yes, they're at war. Nice. Nice. I can open up multiple fronts now. Good. Good choice. Oh, this campaign is... This campaign is so weird, I have no words, honestly. It's the good kind of weird, at least. Alright, but it's too late for me, and I gotta go. Oh, but this is more, much more fun than I thought it would be. I'm definitely looking forward to continuing it. I just don't know when I'm gonna be able to. Supreme Sorceress of Grant. Yeah, I forgot about this army here as well. Let me just check this, and I'm, then I'm gonna go. Now nah, we got Perceptive Intelligent. And no... Okay, this splint here. Where's Spiteful Honor? Alright, guys. I gotta go. So... Thank you for watching. Thank you for chatting. It was really fun. And I really like this campaign. And I'm gonna see you all next time. Good night, cultists. Sweet, wet dreams. Er, really? Alright. Goodbye, guys. Have a good one.